I watched, I watched a couple of your battles. You very graphic with the sexual innuendo and how you going, you know, you know, certain shit with the broads and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? But, it, but you know, like I said, it, it's battle rap and shit. And, and when I watch the female MCs, when I watch the female battle rappers, I hold them to such a higher standard because they all seem so fucking smart. You know what I mean? In the best watch. way. <laughs> In the best way. See, you hate her. You a hater. See, look. Look, all right. See, for one, see, see. For one, for one, I'll wanna, give you one example. Real, all right, I'll give you one. It's hot for trap trapper turn smack rapper. Only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. Making fiends leave earth, you heard Got your baby mama thirst, you heard Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse This the wave you need to surf, you heard Told Jim I need a bomb I could drop on you niggas Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest I solidify my spot with gorillas Now I'm rock with you niggas It's your Ferro Crimson of the Get It In Blood family. Download my new hit single, This Is For, and look for my latest album, Tosa, to drop in the new year. Let's get it together. Let's get it in blood. King Ice. King Ice, baby. King Ice. King Ice, man, we here. King Ice. King Ice. King Ice. King Ice, baby, it's official. Who you smell? The Sweet Lee. It's cooking. Oh, Oh, hey. I'm officially a rapper. That's because you won the Grammy, bro. Love, right. They trying to move our dance. I got a bitch and a friend. I thought, fuck, they won't see me again. Movie, we laugh. AG pull up in the pins. Louis put that on my lens. I ain't gon' touch it, she ain't a 10. Pull out the paso, y no me pises payaso. Te va a ganar un fuletazo. Ya voy borracho. Por lo que tengo en el paso, voy a tu paso. Y no me pises payaso. Te va a ganar un fuletazo. Looking for chance, chance yeah. Chance, but I found me big dollars, dollars, dollars and still won't save. No, no, look, cause I keep mobbing. This, 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 this one is for the fans. Who know that I'm a fucking problem? We don't play no games. We back, we back. We back, 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 back. Mm -hmm. In the spot, 2310, Second Avenue, ah, Harlem Cuts. Back home, back home, back home. This feels good. Yo, shout out to um, all the subscribers. If you're new here, hit that like, hit that share, like your feet at the door, and um, you know, tune in. We got some, some things going on over here. Shout out to the sponsors, uh, King Ice. You go to King Ice, the website, and you put in a uh, half a gang promo code, get a discount. Shout out to LOMclothingstore.com. Again, half a gang promo code, get a discount. Um, damn, this is gonna be fun, man. This is gonna be fun. We ain't been here in like, what? Wow. Three months? Tree, tree of them, tree, tree of them months. months. Tree months. Tree of them months. <laughs> It's been a while. Tree moons. <laughs> it's been a minute. We went to Detroit. Oh, my, I got the king in the building. Where go I miss fit? Murder gang. Mm -hmm. I know what's up. You know Pretty what I mean? things. <laughs> you know what I mean? We back. Feeling good. We got know? Joey in the back. We all black. You know what I'm saying? Cal Athletics. To Cal Athletics. To Cal Athletics. Get in Chill. tune. Get in tune. <laughs> this guy right here be lifting the whole gym. And no. Joey be right there. Like, yeah, I think you can lift some more. <laughs> I love it though, I love it. We got the three time reigning champ in the building. K 
king of the dot. World champ. He brought the belt. There it the is, team. man. There he it is. He brought the mother. We got to show the PA's part, He man. brought it across count, the cross, cross count the countries out there. This world. Bitch. It's on a tour right now. For real. Stop me in the Look airport with that shit, You dig? Tell him my luggage and shit. Your mom's run up on you with this. You dead, nigga. She got to be strong to swing that shit, though, man. It look good. It looks good on you. My mom's to swing that shit. Wow. Oh, you got pH on it. Oh, yeah, recipe that's pH. what I was gonna say. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go. wow, wow, we got yeah. the yeah. pH. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at this. Go. Look at that. Rest in peace, pH. Right. And they got Bender on right. the other side, man. They got yeah. Bender on the other side. Right. Wow. I'm telling you. Hey, hey, shout anybody, out to King of the Dot. Shout out to Organic and right. Gully for this. Anybody shit, could, because we were discussing the battle earlier and shit. Um, Beautiful. Who oh, Aver battled you. in Cali at the battle I was at, and I think it was Bender, and you thought it was. I think it's either Caustic or Ilmac. I don't think it was even one of them. What definitely wasn't Ilmac. I think it was Caustic. I don't think it was Caustic. No, I don't think Caustic. Verb battled Bender. I don't think he battled um, Ilmac. No, I definitely. Verb did. Verb battled Ilmac? Yeah, yeah. He did? Yeah, he didn't do too hot. I just know he, he threw up that night. Verb, he hit me up if you know which battle I'm talking about. You threw up in the whole shit in the venue, nigga. Yeah, he you threw know what up. Like, yeah, he threw up. I think he was sick, sick, not not because he was nervous. I think that might have been the cause of the joint because he said that in the yeah. bank. He said, man, I don't know, or whatever he said. You know, he said he might have been. He said, I feel sick or some shit. I had a show that night, just popped up at the battle and shit, like, boom. You know what I mean? That this, was the, this before Vegan Verb? Yeah, way before. Hell yeah. And and, and that was the night Chilla uh, battled um, Daylight, Rock, Paper, Scissor line. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was a fight. Like, yeah, that was, that was a fight. You know what I mean? Uh, some of that, some of that battle between those two and shit. A lot of times, dudes was ooing and shit, and I was looking around like I ain't get it. What was it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they were scheming, scheme, 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 scheme. Yeah, I'm like, shit. Yeah, yeah, there's the layers to that shit. There's always layers to, layers to battle rap. There's big layers. layers. I'm learning. <laughs> always layers. Um, damn, where do we start? Yo? Oh, vegan verb. Vegan. Speaking of vegan verb. Right. Um. Oh snap! Oh. The, Cause yeah, I'll be on the, I'll be, well, fam, you know what I mean? Like, be, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm epic man in this bitch right now. I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> Yo, shout out. We got, come on, y'all know, y'all already know he a legend. I gave him a, the, the ultimate introduction last time, but this time I can add to his accolades. Star of the Power Series, Ghost. Ghost. Who need a lawyer? And he might get a spin on. <laughs> And on the low, he told me, yo, James St. Patrick is coming back next season. Yeah. <laughs> he lied. <laughs> yo, Shit, he lied. We're we going to be a, a thousand years old before we, we, we say, all right, Ghost ain't coming back. Mm-hmm. Because nobody mm-hmm. wants Ghost is coming to back. give it up. I don't, I don't, I don't care what nobody The series is going to be canceled. All the books going to be canceled. Right. Niggas still going to be like, Ghost coming Ghost back. Ghost coming son. back, baby. Yeah. Telling you, nigga. <laughs> uh, we, we had this conversation before, but yeah. I want to say it again on camera. Bro, you did a wonderful job on the show. Appreciate a that. Wonderful brother. job. And, and I ain't gonna lie. At first, I was like, Nah, I like drug dealer meth. You know, <laughs> I was I already that. get it. Yeah, everybody <laughs> expected that, and yeah. I think that was the beauty of Fifty and Courtney putting going totally against all that shit and was like, Put him here, right? See what he does. And I think I surprised a lot of people. You yeah. know what I mean? I had yeah. to. The biggest thing for me was getting rid of the New York accent. Mm. Learn how to enunciate well See, and yeah. fluxions and expressions. Shit yeah. is wild, man. Yeah, I'm still me though. I, I still say fucked up shit. <laughs> yeah, still me. I got it. Yo, we got a toast to that. We got a toast Show, to that. Uh, I got the tiger bone in the building. Nah, I don't drink, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. but I'm going to hit the tiger bone. Mass said it's healthy for you. Yeah, you shit. Ain't a tiger bone in yeah, that bitch. It. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> they, they don't, don't burn one in the mess with this. But I don't even know what it is entirely. That's it, why it's, I like it. It's healthy. It's healthy, yeah, man. Yeah. That, that, that it's put good for you. Tip. Yeah. I'm not sure what it is. Good for you. We got to tap it So is it, it alcohol? Is it liquor? Yeah. Yes, but yeah. it's like it's like jinxing liquor type. Yeah, there, you there, know what I mean? Uh, like you. Okay. Got it. Yeah, it, 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 it kind of turns that up yeah. too, like. You see, real deal, he like, fuck that blue moon. <laughs> <laughs> you got me drinking. Yeah, it is, man. <laughs> right, come on. No, you can, you can toast the blue moon. You can toast the blue moon. 100%, man. I want to tap it up. Um, I hope light. the Rams won today. I hope they won today. They was getting smoked last night. It was like 25-10, yeah. And Aaron Donald's a Pittsburgher, man, so I pulled for Aaron Donald. But 
Yeah. He, he's only one man. All right, let's do it, man. Uh, Look, uh, to, to, the, to the return, to the season, power, to the to the three chains. Three chains. We got to call you three, three chains, chains from now on. Three, three chains to, three chains to Misfit here. and... Um, <laughs> <laughs> what we toasted? What we toasted for? Let's, you got some news. I know you got some news. You got some news. Oh, um, shout out to me for being the greatest female rapper of all time. Yeah, there you go. And, uh, there you go. We my got dumb it. advice. Y'all already know what my it is. My dumb advice. Facts. Take follow it off. Follow me. Love it. All right. Oh my god, this is horrible. Mm-mm. Yeah, that was way too much. You just gotta down the whole thing, or you're not gonna do it again. So. Yeah, you definitely. <laughs> down the hatch. Go round two. Woo! Down the hatch. Ah, oh, man, that's good. You lying? It is not good. <laughs> For me, that it shit is. is like drinking a, a shot of shellac. Oh, my God. <laughs> 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 oh, they don't do one shot no more in school. My bad. I'm dated. Like a motherfucker. They don't yeah, do that it's, shit it's no tree more, bark. Right? It's like a tree bark they, wine. They don't do wood shopping schools anymore, right? Like wood class. No, you got to do minutes. Yeah. yeah. So I, I think they break. I think Woodshop was so bland that they broke it into specific shit, right? So like R H V A C, all uh, kinds of shit. But come yeah, on. When, I, when I was young, it was just Woodshop. You was in there making dumbass projects, and no one gave a fuck about and putting, the, putting your initials with that thing you spin. Yeah, and then and just like, it in. Yeah, in the wintertime, Lord, that's where we got our goggles from. We used to steal them shit from Woodshop and shit. <laughs> Build a little corner shelves. I probably still know how to build a fucking corner shelf Yo. from Woodshop. That's crazy. Let's go. I didn't, I didn't take one shot. I I, look, I had to go to school, man. That's, that's, sometimes that was the only meal of no, the I day. went to school, man. My you school made it sound ha- like I didn't go to school. I went to school. Well, I went to class, man. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna lie. We was both in school, I but lie. I went to class, man. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I was at everybody gym period and everybody lunch at the yeah. same time. Yeah, like, so that was you? Somehow. That's how you yeah, got that. I, that. I got, yeah, I did. Uh, I was, when I was subbing, I was dealing with people like you. Yeah. Bro, you're not in this class. I just Girl, had right, you, bro. Right, right. You got a regular class. And, and, that's, and that's fucked up. Because that kid probably loves sports so much. Look, here's what I want to be. Don't act like I never do it. That could be the next one. Let me tell you what I would do. Chasing out of the gym. When I was subbing high school. damage that kid doing shit like that. When I was subbing high school, this this is why I looked out. Somebody told me, they said, look, man, you want to make your day that much easier? Stand out in the hallway. I said, why? Then people will know there's a sub there. They're going to. And he said, no, then they won't come. I said, huh? I would just stand out in the hallway. A class of 25 people. I'd have like six kids. Yeah, it's like a sub. Oh, what? That's dope. Easiest wow. fucking hundred and thirty dollars I made that day. Like, you know wow. what I mean? Life. Are you, are you allowed to say that? Are yeah, hell yeah. Now I, I, <laughs> like, <laughs> like, I mean, I didn't tell them not to. I didn't like stop them from coming in, but yeah, they'd be like, right. those is life hacks, bro. Yeah. Yeah, That's man. some real shit right there. Put them on. That's dope. Listen, substitute <laughs> teaching is gladiator shit. So yeah, you take any little tip and yeah. tidbit you can get, man. So Yeah, I've I've, I've said it what, who was it versus Chilla? Chilla was like a replacement for T-Top. I was like, yeah, I, don't, I still don't got no respect for a substitute. Yeah, yeah substitutes they don't get no respect. <laughs> they was all right with me. The, they was, the little ones gave you the blues as a sub, right? But the older ones, as long as you just didn't try to, like, I didn't go in, I was just be like, look, man, I'm trying to get through the day. I know you trying to get through the day. And they'd be like, okay, sub, so cool. Like, you know what I mean? But if you go in trying to enforce <laughs> shit. Yeah. Like, look, this is what we're going to do. Yeah, we're going right, like, to have a quiz today. And then that's where they're like, I'll tell like, you what we're not going to do. Out of here, right. <laughs> so I done like, seen kids having whole parties in front of the substitute teacher on Instagram facts, Live. Like, man. dude. Fuck this teacher! Not, Fuck yeah, this yeah, teacher! Yeah. Like, yo. <laughs> Imagine that's, that's my different. mom. That shit was different for me. Because I, I went to school in, in, in the islands for three years. Wow. So, like... When I came back up here, yeah, and I seen how they was treating the teachers, I was like, "Cause the teachers there could I beat your ass, right? Facts. Yeah, what grade? Yeah. What grade? Um, from from nine to thirteen, Eesh. I was in Barbados. Yeah, Eesh. I came back wild, smarter than everybody. Yeah, but yeah. What, what? Yeah. you know what I mean? I, I know everything. You. Damn right. But that's because they'll whoop your ass if you don't got the answer. So that's, you know ju- I mean? that's so you junior learn. high, like junior high. Yeah, like I came back to junior high. I came back to junior high. Yeah, and. They was kicking the door on the teacher, doing all types of shit. I was like, yo, this is... Yeah, I... Yo, this is the <laughs> yeah. All these little things would be, be dead. Whoop. They be dead yeah. right now. Like, he not playing with these kids. That's crazy. But yeah, like that Tiger Bone does, it does yeah. like warm everything up. I do. I never like school. Nasty. <laughs> you put, what you prefer, the Henny? 
I prefer anything over that. It's anything disgusting. over that. It's good. You go. It tastes like you took dirt <laughs> and leaves Damn. and licorice right. and blended it. Ah. But, but it's good. For That's you. exactly what it tastes like. It's good. I've been paying a lot of attention to my health, and I want to um, talk about the Takao Athletics thing. Yes, sir. Um, I went out to to Houston. I took a five day fast. I stayed off of um, any solids. Whoa. And the intention was to shut down my digestive system and get it to heal everything else. Okay. So by the third day, I had this boost of energy. And I was just working out the whole day. I was like, yeah, I can hang with meth now. <laughs> and what happened after that? Lifted, nah, the, day, the day after, it was rough. But by the fifth day, I was cool. And I was like, yo, I could go six days if I want to, but I'm not going to. What is that, Joey? Like, yeah. yeah. And and your, and what is, and if the body so if the body reacts like that where it's like you get a burst of energy is that it fighting yeah it's I, fighting so I yeah think that's when it switches over to to the state of ketosis where it starts burning your your fat as fuel he's right yeah you're absolutely right you're absolutely right yeah it and is, you got to replenish that shit though this health stuff is real important mm -hmm. um. To oh, well, just, a, just a quick note. People that throw up in the gym all the time and shit, potassium. Eat a banana before you go up in there. Mm. Literally, eat a fucking banana. <laughs> you, you tired of seeing <laughs> it or something? Yeah. You're like, I mean, you know, just to help out, because that, that was my problem a lot when I first started out. Throwing right. up and shit and started eating a banana before, helped a lot. Everything yeah, went smooth. Yeah. What inspired Takao Athletics? Um, was it episode three of... Power? Nah, I don't know. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? You know which episode that is, right? No. The episode I was like, yo, bro, why you ain't warn me, son? Oh. Why you ain't warn me, son? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. Everybody uh, was smashing in that episode. Yeah. And I'm like, wow, this is crazy. I ain't even, I, you know what? I ain't even know till I got the script. And, and you know, at first I was like, oh, damn. But then after a while, I was like, why not? Fuck it. Let's, let's fucking yeah. do the shit. Let's, let's, How let's much of it is um, real? None of it. Well, I mean, I know you're not fucking. <laughs> I know you're not fucking. You mean nude-wise? Right, yeah. Like, what do you see? Like, on your end, what does it look like? So, on your end, pause. No, no, no. I'm, I'm actually having sex in my mind, mm -hmm. right. you know, for believability and right. everything. So I'm actually having sex, but in the same space as far as my scene partner being who she is and respecting her space at the same time, it's a slippery slope. Right. Yeah. But when you have that synergy and you guys are, and you have some kind of chemistry there, even if the chemistry ain't right, it's still real. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, for me, my biggest thing was, you know, the, the act of all sex. Cause I was like, why would I start like this? It felt weak to me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I remember asking Lorenz and I was like, I, I don't know, I don't know how to approach it. He's like, well, talk to Courtney, but in your own head, try and figure out a way of why. Because they had you head that. first in the and, box. And, and, yeah, like as soon as the shit started, I'm down in the box like, <laughs> like You know what I mean? Like, like boom. I was like, yo, why are you, why are you tell me, bro? Right. Like, they did the, yo, bro, you had your cheeks out, bro. You had your cheeks out. I was like, come on. But like, like, so like, see, in that guy. scene when you in the box, right? It's yeah. like, do you see pussy? Or is she wearing no. something like... No, we got, um, they give us pasties. Yeah, pasties. Okay, right. You know so what I mean? But this, them it. shits pop off and I... No, I yeah, don't, that's, no, that's, you know that's what, what I'm saying. That's you know what I'm saying? No, hers didn't pop off. Right. Mine's did because... Yeah, the, the, you know, whatever and yeah, shit. Yeah, it, it, it is what it is with black anatomy or whatever. Yeah. It, it, it's real. It, it, but just put it yeah, that way. Yeah. But right. The, the whole... And then, <laughs> the right? Whole, so, all right, cool. Pasties, right? Right. And then... Like because you're so into it, and maybe the girl's actually attractive. Like if you, nah, you if don't. you get an erection, no, nah, I don't. Is she disrespectful? No, because I know that when we're when we're in this scene together and shit, it's it's no. I mean, of course, it's some kind of sexual attraction. It has right. to be in order to make the shit kind of. But it's like ten people in the room too. But exactly. Right. So for me, it was. I'm here doing this job, but I'm going to do this like I would actually do it if I was actually doing it. Does that make sense? Right. Yeah. Yeah. So 
But in the same sense, again, respecting who your scene partner is and respecting their space and making sure that they're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Because I could have wowed out like Omari be doing with Notori and shit, right. fucking leg up here. Yeah, no, you know what I mean, crazy. all that, yeah. all that crazy shit. Yeah. So but, is that imp improvised? Like when he's like, say, like Omari's having sex. <clears throat> is a lot of that him, or is that written like, hey, grab a you twist have a, a um, throw intimacy in the coach. They bring in an intimacy coach. And mostly, most of the time, the intimacy coach is, is just there to make sure that both parties are comfortable. Okay. Right. And no one feels uncomfortable with doing the scene, the scene and shit. Right. But my, my, my whole thing with the, with the whole sex simulation thing was losing my power or looking weak because the scene started with me giving her oral sex. Why does that make you look weak? It, it was just in my mind because that 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 was sort of like a submissive role. That ain't how men do you. You know what I mean? For me, that's a submissive role in a sense, right? And I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack about that, but I don't give a fuck. It just felt submissive. Now, yeah. My thing was to make to justify it in a in a way to make to to bring, get my power back. So my justification was the scene before that. If you notice, Tariq came in with the money. I gave him a little speech. He gave me the money. She asked about it. Mm -hmm. I told her, it's not our business to know. Mm -hmm. Next scene, what am I doing? Shutting her the fuck up. Oh, okay. Gobbling the goo. Okay, pop, pop, pop. Yeah. And that was the justification all right, all right, right there. Right. So now I was and good it, with it, the scene. And you, and you had, to, you had to, to kind of tell yourself that. Internalize it. What, is she, what was she telling herself? I have no idea, but that's the beauty of, you know, having a scene partner and them going through what their shit is and you going through what your shit is and seeing if that shit mesh. If it works, so be it. Right. If it doesn't work, then y'all can go and compare notes, say, look, I want to try this, I want to try that. Okay, let's try that. Right. And then, you know, you meet a common ground and everybody's good with that at the end of the day. That's interesting that you see that to be submissive. I wonder if a lot of men... Just in that, that, no, in that, in that world like not right. in real life no, no not in as real far life. as like that, right. absolutely not for his character for your character yeah for my for character, character. Right. submissive because this is a you know he's an alpha male in yeah. a in a in a in a on a series where you got killers murderers drug dealers he's an alpha male in this yeah. series right why would i have to start by eating the goo right right, right gobbling right. the goo you know what i mean <laughs> right. so it, it, like i said it's a little bit of the immaturity of who this character is as a man mm -hmm. but the justification once that was set into place it made it way more easier exactly. and justified for me to do it. Right, right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Sexy and stupid. You got me tricky. in here. Talk, what, we are expert opinion talking about? Yeah. Can, yeah. Yo. Right. Dang. This is what we I mean, you're on power. You know, I had a movie, I had a movie called Rap War One. I was talking about this with Fit the other day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I had a couple sex scenes in there too. Mm -hmm. But we didn't have an intimacy coach. And, you know, chicks was pulling my junk out for real. I was mm -hmm. like, oh, <laughs> what's going on here? Like, what we doing? I'm just being honest. I wouldn't put it past, like, you look at some of those scenes where they actually, and I wouldn't put it past the two co stars to actually do it for real. And it's like a unspoken thing. Between the actors and shit, it's part of like the acting, keeping the real, the real part of it. Um, people, and I think it's a rumor, but right. people were saying like Billy Bob Thornton and Halle Berry, that wasn't, mm -hmm. that wasn't fit. No, that wasn't assimilation. That was real and shit. And I'm like, well, if it was, damn, she got an Oscar for that motherfucker. Fetch. So well, <laughs> crazy. Bro, I'm laughing, I don't know if I'm supposed you know what to I mean? like I don't know. I don't think it's, it's real. Billy Bob I, I, honestly, I don't, I don't think it's real. Shit. <laughs> but real deal was supposed to clap. With nah, that. But for yeah, me like, to be in a in a in a in a scene like that, I, I feel the same way the female in that scene would feel. Don't violate me. Right. You know what I mean? Plus on the top of that, I'm married, so don't 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 yeah, violate don't, don't my do space. Extra. Right. Because I'm not gonna violate yours. That's right. the kind of that's just the way that I'm built and shit. So right. leave it at that. Wow, that's that's good. That's crazy. Was that the was that the first time that you had to um do one of those scenes? Butt ass? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. No, well I got butt ass before, but it wasn't for sex. Mm. And that was because they kept seeing the towel and shit. No, they, kept, <laughs> well, no, well, well, they kept seeing my drawer lines and shit. So I was like, fuck it, I just took the drawers off and threw the shit. It was in the shower. Right. My first love scene was John Singleton, thank God. Shot my first love scene, so it was pretty tame. I still had my drawers on, she had her bra on, you know. You shoot certain angles, you can't see shit. Shit, right. Um, shout out to Danielle, mm -hmm. um, my co-star in that. Matter of fact, we're born on the same motherfucking day and shit. Wow. But yeah, that was the first one which prepared me for this. By this time, I'm fucking mature. I'm locked in. I, I know who Davis McLean is and shit. Mm -hmm. right. But it's me trying to find that 
that thing to bring me in that sexual or to release that sexual tension in that moment. You right. know what I'm saying? Cool. So what do you a high five after? Like, hey, we did it. Nah. But not for real. <laughs> well, I got did it. I, you know what? The director. Shanna Stein. Shanna. Shanna Stein. Shana. Good girl. She gave the high five. Yeah, she gave the high five. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's like, up. And I asked it. Courtney never to do that again and shit. You know, yo, my DMs was lit though. All the, all After the, that joint, yo, I'm telling all the aunties and grannies and shit, they was hot. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Mm-hmm. Wow. I mean, I'm an uncle, but damn, I mean, we grown and shit. Y'all should be ashamed of yourself. Girl folks should do yeah, shit like crazy. that. That ain't for DM us. Lit. DM ain't for us, y'all. So, what? Well, the season's over now. Yeah. Um, what are we looking forward nope. to? Nope. <laughs> What do you think? I'm like, why? You can't tell us a no. We need like two spoilers. <laughs> oh, shit. Just two spoilers. Um, the biggest spoiler was Tommy. I mean, for people that haven't seen it yet, yeah. you know? Um, I think, you know what? I'm just going to keep it a buck. I'm looking forward to Kanan to see where that yeah, goes. Me too, yeah. right. You know what I'm saying? And, and how that pans out. And um, right now, we're all in the dark. I just got my first COVID test the other day, so we're definitely back in production. That's, mm. a, that's, a, that's a go. Haven't gotten a script yet, so I'm being honest. I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Well, I was devastated when Ghost died. I'm just saying. Yeah. Did, you, did you see um Omar on the set? Omar. Omar. Omari. Omari. Omar. No, Omari's my brother. I met Omari in Louisiana. Yeah, but funny as shit. On the set, though. Nah. Well, he, he never was never <laughs> No. <laughs> Hell no. Nah. Brother Fifty hilarious. came through though. Fifty came 50 through came one day. Through. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that's pretty much it, man. You know, that's it. Yeah. Is um, uh, is Amari like a diva? Because they always make him seem like he's a diva on set. You know what? People find it hard to believe that Amari is one of the nicest, sweetest people in the world, mm-hmm. and I don't mm-hmm. see why. Because people hate to disassociate the character from the real person. Yeah, mm-hmm. he's very zen. Does poetry. Very passionate about music and shit. That's why when he hugged Beyonce at the awards, yeah, people was, flipped out. It was a big shit. deal. I was like, no, that's, that's just him. He, right. You do that to anybody and shit. That's just the part of the It was like, oh, Jay-Z, watch out. Oh. Lori gonna take me off. <laughs> and, it, it, and it sucks because he can't speak for himself to the masses and shit. So the way he's portrayed is not fair at all. Mm. At all. The dude yeah. I met, mad cool. Yeah, they always make but, him seem like, like, like he's difficult on set and things like that. You know what I'm saying? But, it, okay, so... But that's a bit of relief. You get you get along with Tariq, <laughs> Michael. I watched yeah, that. Michael. I watched. I watched. I watched Young and Grow Up. He's Staten Island. Yeah, Staten Island. Yeah. Um, Michael. The thing I like about Michael is, he, at such a young age, he knew the enormous or the enormity of the job that he had to carry this series and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And he did the work, and I think he did a phenomenal job. Why? I can point out a specific reason why. At the end, by the season finale of Power, people wanted to kill. They wanted to put hands on this kid. Mm-hmm. He wasn't even real. He wasn't even real. real. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Getting threatening messages, all that shit, and he handled it like a G, but that's just <laughs> his character. You know, he, he West Indian too, West Indian blood mm-hmm. and shit. So, you know. This season starts up, and you know, I'm, I'm Davis McLean. I'm trying, I got a little scheme to throw this little motherfucker in jail. I'm yeah. thinking people would be happy. They right. hate this motherfucker, right. right? Oh, Davis McLean is a bitch. He trying to throw Tyreek in jail. He trying to throw Tyreek. That's another thing. People call him Tyreek. It's Tariq. Yeah. yeah. And Mary, I think Mary and a few other people. I, um, 50 used to do it too when he was playing um, Kanan and shit. They used yeah. to call him Tyreek. Tyreek. But that's just the hood and shit. That's right. what it yeah. is and shit. But yeah, it's like he does such a phenomenal job. Oh, y'all love this nigga now. Now, and now yeah. y'all hate me. Yeah. All right, that's what's up. Let's go. That's crazy. I'm gay. I'm gay. I'm gay. <laughs> so over, Any over, of your students watch, pal? Kindergartners, right? I, I got kindergarten through <laughs> yeah, fifth, man. Nah. So I, don't, I, I don't know, man. Hell to the now. They in the hood? They watch. Do I? I, I don't know. I mean, their parents might, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. But they might. You know, I don't, I don't know. Shut up. We like? virtual now anyway, so mm. like... Yeah, what's that mm. like? Yeah. 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 I, I got a question. Do y'all got to still... Because the teachers in where I live at, they still got to show up to the school. Like, nah, they're in they, class. They tried to have us come for like a couple days, but then they couldn't logically explain why, because the cases were going up. 
Right. So then they was like, okay, go home, teach from home. So wow. we just be teaching from Did home. Did y'all have any cases though in in your school as far as teachers? Nah, after COVID? Not in our school, but I teach in Pittsburgh Public, which is a big, big ass, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So like other than Philly is the biggest and then Pittsburgh Public. So there's cases, you know what I mean? Yeah. Not a lot, but they just, there was no no rhyme or reason, you know what I mean? They All of a sudden they were like, oh no, teachers need to come back in the building. We're like, yo, the numbers is up. Like, right, right. You know, so you gotta keep in mind too, when they make decisions like that, there's a union. Mm -hmm. That goes to you know goes to so it's a it's a but yeah we came in for fucking three days. What they want us to do eventually is both. I don't know how the what? fuck you do that. So you're mm -hmm. gonna have to virtually teach those who opt and have yeah, kids over here. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck you do that. Wow. That, that. That's not even reasonable to ask. I don't even know. Right, right, right. You yeah, have to do it like a like, Steve Jobs seminar or man, some crazy shit I don't like know. that. Man. That's, that's I, like I have a nephew in kindergarten and he does the virtual thing. Um, but like, how's that for you? Like, what are you telling them to like outline their letters and? Well, no, nah, like, I teach gym, right? So right. I don't. <laughs> right. So that's even so we can do that hit routine. I be, I be looking up my YouTube hit routines, like the Black Panther hit routine. I'll play it. I was like, get up, get up, get up. I'm like, turn your screens on right now. Get up, because some of them be in bed with their teddy yeah. bear. Like, get up, get up. So they get up, and then y'all be like, do whatever the person on the screen does, right? So it'd be like, you know, it'd be like someone dressed in a Black Panther suit, and they'll do like 30 seconds of an exercise, like the Wakanda yeah. punch, and it'll be like 10 seconds. Right? So I'm like, look, you're in. In front of, look, the, the tragedy is from you're in front of your screen all day, and then a lot of times when school's over, you know, a lot of these parents are overwhelmed and doing so much, yeah. they throw a movie on for the kid anyway. Right, so, right. Man, you are glued again. to this it's fucking screen. Sports yeah. are pretty much can't, like, you know. Yeah. So, I'm like, get up, man. You know what I mean? We, we ain't gonna, because I'm Jim Health, right? Mm -hmm. This food pyramid shit could wait. We'll talk about that down the road. Get up. You know what yeah, I mean? Right. So, get, 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 them, them get that body active. Dope, yeah, man. like the dope. regular subject teachers, I know, man, they be going through it, man, because it's. You don't get that personal interaction, you know what right. I mean? And you could see, you could just see, like, it looks like the Brady Bunch scream, right? Yeah. Right. You could just see kids fading, like, like and then a teacher will, asleep. yeah, and a teacher, not even falling asleep, just, you could see their eyes, like, they're like, lost. Whoop. And a teacher will explain something and then come back to it and they still won't know. Yeah, They're I was like that asleep. when I was in the class. Yeah. Right. Right. But <laughs> my biggest thing is, there's a lot of kids now who don't even have internet, let alone a computer in their motherfucking home and shit. Barely got a fucking fidget. Well, they provide uh, tablets. Yeah, they, they provide tablets. I mean, if you providing tablets and shit, that became a rent, shit, That became like, a shit show too. <laughs> 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 they just motherfucking so, rent. You got a ta yeah. we got a tablet, but we can't even fucking eat. We can't eat this shit. But but, but the travesty is this too. Like the, the what we use, right? We use this thing called Teams, and and you like. It's not Zoom, but it's like Zoom. But it'd be going down, it'd be glitching, it'd be fucking up. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what I mean? It'd be kicking kids out and all kinds of... The funny yeah. thing is, though, like, because everything is, is new is an experiment kind of deal, right? right? So there's this thing called the mute button. Mm -hmm. So, like, kids be, like, unmuting. You, you can mute them. What well, At the very beginning, the kids could do it, too. Right. So you be teaching, they just mute you, you and mute shit. You, and you just <laughs> say like, and, 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 and you don't know who it was, right? Right. right. You know what I mean, people need to stop... You're muted again. You're like, stop you. Like, it's true. Like, yeah. So, That's like, they had to, there's so many little, like, errors that go along with it, man. It's, it's. What's the yeah. biggest misconception about public school, brother? That the teachers don't care. Because these teachers be banging their head off the fucking. Not me. Mm. I mean, I care. Right. But listen, I, I, I got to maintain, like, you know, when I go home, I'm not. These teachers be taking this shit home with them, developing. The most crazy, like you know what I mean. There'll be right. parents going off on you and all kinds of shit. Well, like my daughter's gonna go into teaching, and she's going to work with. I'm pretty sure, like at-risk youth and um, special needs kids and things mm -hmm. like right. that in schools. And and I told her, like that job comes with a lot of baggage. If yeah. you get too attached mm -hmm. and bring mm -hmm. your work home with you, it'll drive you crazy. Find some kind of zen place that you can find to separate your work from your everyday life. I know yeah. it's going to be hard, though. And you got to give a kid a clean slate every day. Yeah. You know what I mean? I had a kid slap me in the fucking face. <laughs> like, open palm, a fifth grader <laughs> smack. <laughs> Fire out me, man. Like, oh, and I wasn't good. even like I, the ball. You weren't was, ready. Listen, <laughs> I, was, I wasn't ready. <laughs> so, so, so the big, the the, the, the yeah. girl we had in the fifth grade was the bully. She was the, the meanest bully. A girl like that. It was a girl. Mean, like that. bro. Mean. Oh, I loved her, but she like I loved her, but she was mean as fuck, right? right. And I would see little shit she did in the slide. So she did something mean to this kid. He started walking in front of the building. Once you leave my sight, I'm, I'm responsible. So I was going around. All I wanted to say was like, hey, man, I saw, but I kept a safe distance. I thought safe. This motherfucker stepped into it. 
I said, hey, listen, you're not in trouble. I just, man, he smacked my hat off and everything. I had a mm-hmm. hat on him. Hold on. And one slap. Came from here. It was the angle was like here. this, but. And he just. Oh, that's that And then hit the, you caught the cheek and, look, and then took the hat off. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> that, <laughs> hair disheveled and shit. That's, that's that Nipsey Hustle at the BET Awards smack. Google that's it. This, yeah. Nipsey but, Hustle <laughs> at the BET Awards. It just came out of nowhere. He was mad calm. It was like, look, look, homie. <laughs> but the <laughs> shit was October. <laughs> it was October. It was like October. So I, wow. I think he got like three days or something. I'm like, I, he, you know, and I'm the gym. I get every kid in the building. As but, a gym teacher, you get, yeah. you know, the therapeutic kids or whatever. You get every fucking kid to go. So I'm like, I, I literally got to, because I'm kind of a grudge holder too, like naturally. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Hell I'm, yeah, you I'll be trying you to got read. mad as fuck at yeah. me over little yeah, comments yeah. on that back. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> talk to talk. Talk your shit. But look, so I, I, you know, you got to you gotta give him a clean slate, man. Mm. And some of the shit the kids be doing, man, you can't even, you know, you're like, why is he doing this? So right how, did you, how did you handle it? Like... I'm not going to front. Like, when he did it, I he grabbed his, his arm. and was like, yo, yo. Now, I grabbed I his arm, and I minutes. started to walk him to the office. And I, and I, was, like, well, I was like, man, if he, if he swings on me again, man, like, I'm going to have to, like, defend myself. Right. You know what I mean? Like, I was so mad. My face was red. Like, I was fucking heated, like, man. But, yeah, I'm going to have to drop yeah. this little kid. He said, I'm going to have to defend myself. Yeah, because I'm like, like. It was, but it was, it was a very awkward. Man, I've, I've spoken to teachers that got their face spit in before. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah and you yeah. gotta, yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and that's what I'm saying. So you gotta give a kid a. I mean, that, those right. are extremes, right? Right. But you'll get a kid a lot of times every fucking day shows up and, and is, is wilding out. Or, and a lot of times out of frustration. And a lot of times it's, it's just to impress people, whatever the case may be. Right. You, gotta, you gotta dedicate yourself every day to be like, all right. You know, I, I got to give them a clean slate the next day. Right. And it's a shame, like I said, subject teachers don't get to see, like, the fruits of their labor. So being a gym right. teacher, yeah. I seen the kindergarten that was wilding out, throwing stuff, and I see them by fifth grade kind of chill. And I'm like, damn, I wish their single grade teachers could see this progress. See yeah. You know, but they get the they get the next batch in. But These yes. motherfuckers yeah. wanted mm-hmm. that uh, Beverly Hills 90210 shit and got East Side High with Joe Clark out this yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> Rest in peace to the OG Joe Clark. Right. That's the but yeah, man, you do noble motherfucking work, and I can only imagine, because there are a lot of misconceptions about public school. All yeah. The time, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Worst of the worst, not enough fun. They, I mean, mm-hmm. the funds definitely, it, yeah, in public, the schools basically reflect the neighborhoods that they're in as far as funding, correct? Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. So if these schools, most of the schools that are doing well, new books and things of that nature, the community is the reason for this because they support right. that's a that district. Piece of it, right? um, as far as public schools, that's not the same, same at all. And by the time they get to, after cutting and budget cuts and all this shit, it's like someone giving you a stack this fucking big. And then by the time you get it after they cut that motherfucker down, it's down to here, but you still got the same amount of mouths to motherfucking feed, or brains in this case, right. to feed. And this shit is bonkers. The thing that really sticks out to me, though, is the uh, grandfather thing. Uh, God, what, what do they say? Well, you grandfathered in. Um, like a lot of the older teachers, and this isn't a slight against older teachers, but in my experience, especially having two black, especially having black sons, mm-hmm. um, Two of my boys were left back in the same fucking grade. Mm. Mm. And then there was a census that went around that a lot, the majority of these black boys were getting left back in the third and in the fourth my son got grade. Back in the third, too. Mm. So, and then when you look at the teachers, a lot of these teachers are late 50s, 60s, things of that nature. So they're coming from an era right. where the things that they taught and the way that they taught are culturally biased. So mm-hmm. a black child sitting in this class with this culturally biased teacher who won't lose her job because she's grandfathered in. Right. Whereas a younger teacher wants some of this young, youthful energy that sees the world in a, on a bigger scope. Scope, right. Can understand and speak these kids' language better, right. whereas this lady is more my way or the highway and nobody can get rid of her ass. Yeah. I will well, that, say- That's because of the that, union, right? So it is like to get rid of a teacher, like aside from you doing some unfathomably, you know, unspeakable shit that we won't even venture into where it's like this motherfucker got. Now, here's the thing, though. Somebody like a student could say, like, you pushed them in their seat or something or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. And have no proof. And they pull you out like you you, now you're on paid leave. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, With no proof or nothing. 
right? But to get rid of you is a task because of the, you know what I mean, because of the union. So especially like when you're tenured, you know what I'm saying? Um, but petitions but my, work. But hold on. But my thing is to be, to have a mental picture already in your head because you're old school, you're a yeah, teacher. Yeah, yeah, to right. have this mental picture in your head of what a black boy is. And then to have a black boy come. When I went to yeah. that parent teachers conference, and my wife can attest to this, I walked out because this lady did not have one nice thing to, to say, say about my son. I'm, I'm gonna tell you one. I'm gonna tell you a, a, a trip, man. Like where I teach at, like we don't have a single white student. There's not a single white one in the building. And like, like again, I teach kindergarten through fifth. Like, so the white staff, like it's weird. Like the the kids have a hard time believing that they're white. It's real weird. Like, I, ha I brought my son to school one time, mm -hmm. right? My son's white, you know? And I had to break up a fight between one of my fourth graders who was about to fight another fourth grader. Mm -hmm. And I was like, what is the problem? He was like, man, he keeps, he keeps saying your son's white, man. And I was like, like he was about to fight mm -hmm. his classmate on my behalf, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, you know what I mean? It's it's a wild. And I don't want anyone yeah, to good. get misconstrued what I'm saying. It's not a slight no, no. against teachers, no, like uh -huh. I said. But there are real cases. Math, math can yeah. attest because even his son my, was like, and my sons. I mean, they're not great students. You yeah. know what I mean? They're not the best students. But I know my kids. Mm -hmm. Right. And for someone to sit there and tell me how my in a, in a public setting, my kids act a certain way. We've been on planes. First class, my kids don't even act out and cry. I've seen other other people's kids, black, white, whatever, right. run up and down the motherfucking aisles. Parenting, fall out kid. My kids weren't those kind, kind of kids. So to have this lady and for her to be an older lady, mm. out of respect, I, I could have read her right there, but out of respect of, of her age, I had to get up and kindly excuse myself from a parent-teacher's conference. And that's supposed to benefit me right. and my son, right. you know, on how to make him a better freaking student, but right. hearing this lady talk, there was no way my son was gonna leave that grade that year. I, I think one of the biggest things is as a teacher, mm. you have to find a student's strengths too. Like even if that student is wilding out every day or kind of, you, you have to kind of be able to talk to a parent like, look, these are his strengths. These are what we wanna tap into to right. prevent X, Y, Z. You know right. what I mean? Cause I, I've seen, like I said, and I got the littlest, yeah. I can kindergarten through fifth, um, and I'm, I'm lucky, uh, right? So, so I'll get kids, kids love gym. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? So I'll get kids that, you know, and, but I, I also get my other teachers back. And what I mean by that is some of my, some of the, the most, the toughest behavior kids, right? Are your best athletes. Mm. Mm -hmm. So you come to gym ready to have a ball and I find out you just flipped the, the desk over for, you know what I mean? I'm like, yo, you got to sit down for a couple minutes, man. Think about that. Like it don't, right. all these running for touchdowns, if you can't read the word cat, it don't fucking matter. Right. You know what right. I'm saying? Right. So. You know, it, it, it's, I feel it, it's, for the subject because, like, again, I, I rarely run into, as a gym teacher, like I said, kids, even, even like, I know, like, a lot of times girls, when they hit middle school and shit, sometimes they're a little, you know, they're, they're not as eager to mm -hmm. do phys ed and shit. Like, kindergarten through fifth, man, that, this, it's a lot easier for me, man, so I. Mm -hmm. Well, third grade, uh, my son's third grade teacher was kind of biased, to put it, no, she was racist. She was racist, bro. Like, she was fucked mm. up. And she my son's white? mother didn't know how to deal with that. So she would respond to it with anger. anger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in turn, she, she left my son back. Mm -hmm. I transferred him to another school, told his teacher, look, he doesn't belong in this grade. We took tests. He took the fourth grade test. He took the fifth grade test. Passed both of them. Like. I'd say the fifth grade, fifth grade test, I think he got like a Do they let uh, you, why, would, why do they let you do that? So you could just say, no, yo, give me whatever. No, we were whatever. trying to convince yeah, the that, principal that, that he didn't belong in that, in that so I believe, grade. I believe that was in an Pittsburgh, issue. the parent has to co-sign though. Right. So if you go, I think your, your child the should be held back and you're like, nah, mm -hmm. they oh. move him up. Well, they don't oh, yeah? do that in New York. But, which is kind they of a travesty too though because they a could lot be of time, lacking. yeah, now they're right. in third grade, they don't know what the fuck is going right. on. Well, out and, here it wasn't like that. Yes, in, in Pittsburgh, like you gotta, you gotta sign off right. on that. You and even like, though okay, my son yeah. was passing fifth, fifth grader exams, they wouldn't allow him to move up. Yeah. So years later, my other son was kind of going through the same thing. He figured out a way, because he he's super popular. He got petitions. 
and every kid that had an issue mm-hmm. with that teacher, yeah, signed off on it. Yeah. And they got her out of it. Got her out of it. Mm. But the damage was yeah. already done, my nigga. Like, you yeah, so, but 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 it will not continue. That's, that's you know real, what I mean. Real talk. And so, again, this is not a slight against. Yeah, it's not a, a slight because there's great teachers out there. Shout Brody out to Miss Arnold. Shout out to Miss Mizell. I had a great teacher, Miss Gold. I think was it Miss Gold? Yeah, I think I believe her name was Miss Gold. And she would let us read comic books at the end of the day. And we even had a comic book club. And this was her thinking outside the box yeah. because these boys were reading comic books during her class. Oh, they right. do it. Listen, I'm, I'm telling you, I see these teachers do it all the time. They create new, inventive ways. You know what I'm saying? They, they just don't throw a song on, a video, like get up, yeah. let's start dancing. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? They're doing yeah. everything. And this virtual is so tough for them mm-hmm. because when you have the, just a little shit, like when you're in a class, just to put your hand on a kid's shoulder, like, you know, right. to let them know it's yeah. like, whatever. You yeah. can't do none of that shit. Right. You're just looking at a screen. You know what I think will help? If you guys were able to, like, put filters on. <laughs> like no, no dead ass, like, dead ass. Like be yo gabba gabba yeah, or some uh, crazy shit like that. Because because look, I look at it like if you look at the shows that these kids watch, yeah, there's yeah. like a thousand colors. There's things going it's on. True. Like Not us, how man. do you compete with that? You know how many as a kids? regular human being standing Ooh. there for like an hour talking to a kid when they're used to looking at a screen and seeing colors and everything he going has a on. Point. He yeah, has yeah. A point. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of cool, actually. If you guys right, no, no, shouldn't be allowed to have filters. So I'm going to keep it a buck. I'll give you a prime hat. example, okay? Computers, when computers first came out, we had a computer class in school. Mm-hmm. And you could play games, but all the games was like, if you played Pac-Man, it was Pac-Man with numbers. You saw this, and then Pac-Man move a little. And yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. Shit was the lamest shit in the motherfucking world. So I get what Mav's saying. How does that compete with, because as soon as I got home, I'm playing Atari. Right. Right, right, right. I'm doing this shit, you know what I'm saying? How does that compete with, and how do you keep up, and how do, I mean, I, I get it. A lot, of, a lot of teachers do adapt. I seen something recently on um, IG. A uh, teacher was doing a class, and she fought it. <laughs> Kids was cracking up, right. but yeah, she right. was trolling because she had a fart machine. Oh, right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I thought that was that was fucking dope as hell right there. Yeah. Let the tension out of the room because honestly, sitting in school, fifth, sixth grade like this, we going to sleep. The teacher used to open up every window in the winter and it would be freezing, freezing in there cold just to wake up. us up so we pay fucking attention. Man, there, there's so many different, like I said, different things that teachers do and they, you know what I mean? And they try to get, um, to get the kids, because you got to get their attention, you know what I'm saying? You be rapping to your students? Bro, listen. You real, you I don't. I don't. You don't be nah, come off the head? Nah, 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 you don't I, come I, off the head? First of all, I got, I, you know, the, the kids I teach are so little, right? Yeah, so they like, can't I don't even. Subject matter. I, I, right. I, I, Parents like, be on I you. I did something before, like one thing or whatever, like at an award show for, you know, my principal. We, we had won this Star School Award back to back. So my principal, like that Friday, was like, hey, uh, can you do something? So I did it like. That Drake back to back was out at the time, mm. so I just did like a little verse. Yeah, I that. saw that. I saw but that. But when I was yeah. like, yeah, they don't I, like I told you, man. I, if they ask me like, you be rapping, I'm like, nah. You separated. I'm Why? Like, nah. <laughs> because to, and to them, think about it. Like when you was in school, you saw your your teacher at the grocery store. You'd be like, yeah. yo, yeah. like the yeah. teacher don't need groceries, oh, right? Some so try, so if somebody we'll told you your gym teacher was out here <laughs> battle rap, you'd be like, nah. My so shit. I just be telling him, like, nah, he just looks like me, man. Yeah. <laughs> My teacher and they believe it. Yeah. Boy, yeah, hell yeah, I bet they do. Unless, like, they, their they're parent like, literally yeah, is like, like no, that's definitely. Yes, like, who who, who is beer just like you? Yeah, I'd be like, yeah, he just looks you know, like you me. You know, people will be pointing. Yeah. I mess with him sometimes and be like, yo, people say that all the time. Who is this guy? I'm like, yo, you seen <laughs> that's the, the nigga from Predator, right? The motherfucking the black dude from Predator, right? And, wow. And, wow. And, and, and maybe hitting me with the, yo, you red man? <laughs> I'd be like, fuck yeah, I'm red man, nigga. What the fuck, man? Doc Spillane, nigga. What's good? Jersey. Jersey. You red man? You red man, nigga. Jersey. Yeah, fuck you, man. Yes, I am, nigga. <laughs> Noble work, though, brother. Like, yeah. you know, no, and to be as raw yeah. as you is on the motherfucking mic. This is what I'm talking about, man. This is the evolution that I be talking about. Why we got to push some of them old, mo- even in politics, them old motherfuckers got to go. Let go. some of this new energy get up in there that that know how things work, know what the game is and how these things go. Right. And, but not necessarily with art forms, because with the art form, we need those older cats. 
because they know things like where would Pete Rock be? Think about it. Like where would a Pete Rock be if um, Q Tip or Large P didn't show him a little trick on the motherfucking MP? Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yo, this is how we do it right here. You know, would, instead would of doing four ball, right or Tim, right. Right, exactly. You know what I mean? Or Swiss. If and that the, never and to just have these motherfuckers still around, because some of my favorite battles to watch, honestly, is rookies versus vets. Because mm -hmm. you want to see where it was or where how it started and where it's what going. You know what I'm saying? Right. And sometimes, I mean, the majority of the times, the vets be whooping the, the rookies' ass. But I'll attribute mm -hmm. that to the moment. Sometimes mm -hmm. niggas have nervous energy or whatever and shit, mm -hmm. but um, it, it plays a part, a major part in how to carry yourself, what is and what isn't viable in this genre. Right. Even the fans, and y'all got some of the worst fans in the fucking world. Battle rap fans are worse. We got fucking critics. Fans we got, in the world. They're, they're, they ain't even fans, critics. they're critics, period. Yeah. Facts. Uh, yeah. Half a gang be holding me down. I don't know. Half a gang. I, 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 I love get it and shit. Guys. Love you guys. <laughs> I get it. But but they be, yeah, they, they are like, the but fans are way too comfortable with it. It's the gatekeepers, though, <laughs> and they make sure, like, you know, certain shit ain't going to fly, you know? Mm. Certain shit. And, and I love that part about it because it keeps everybody honest. Right. You know? Yeah. Um, speaking of, uh, of gatekeeping, Chain keeping. Three chains. Three chains. Three chains. Nice. How's that feel, man? How's that feel, man? It's 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 cool, man. It, it, it's. I always said this, man. Before the first title shot, I said, man. I, I, I've been battling a long time, and I, I think anyone who knows anything about battling thinks I'm good and dope, and, and the cosigns are great, but it'd be great to have something tangible. Right. You know, because right. I was in Scribble Jam, and I got bumped out of Scribble Jam. I was in this tournament, and I got bumped out of this tournament. I was on right. Smack Dick. Who good. bumped you in Scribble, Scribble Jam? Oh, it's Thesaurus. Thesaurus? The set, man, oh, man. That was my first internet experience, like feedback ever. Does he two. have three chains? He got, I think he got two of them gas masks, and he got like, <laughs> the Zora's got a bunch of shit. That motherfucker yeah. got a, yeah, he got a trophy case of shit. You use but, judges, they bias anyway. Most of the judges man, is biased. He, uh, I'm biased shit. I'm yeah, bro, I'm yeah. Biased. So, so I lost twice <laughs> in Scribble. I lost, I won one and lost one. I won one and lost one. Like, so I just needed something, tan something tangible would feel good, right? Right. And then even once I got the shot, I said, all right, you know, you, you got, you've, you've competed for it. That's even cool. So, um... Yeah, I think having something tangible is, is clutch, and being able to have like multiple yeah. things is cool. But it's got to be fulfilling to the point where it's like, yeah, I did that, you know, the the, because you've been around for years, bro. Yeah. I mean, when I met you and shit, it was like, <laughs> yeah, at least 10, 10, 12 years ago, yeah. at least, right? Yeah. And to have all that come to fruition now, and to see your work pay off, it's kind of like. What the fuck is this? Pharaoh? I mean, Jay Pharaoh? No, no. I'm sorry, Shit, my nigga. What's good, my nigga? Respect, fam. He, he was one of the guys. Fucking Jay Pharaoh in this bit? His, 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 his um, history goes back to like Fight Club. Like, nice. He, he was one of the judges that got me in the Fight Club, actually. Respect. Word. Facts. Respect. Facts. And for you to still, do, to still be doing it at a level just uh, gives validity to my statement about the vets. Gotta be around. Yeah, hey, yeah you gotta 100%. be, man. Yeah. Keep this shit in check, B. Well, I, I love I that think... they're doing this. Like, the, it looks so nice. I like it. Yeah. Like what it, you said, tangible. And yeah, I mean, because be it's like, like, look at this. You could be like, I've been dope for a long time, but then, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? Like, none of the accolades. Yeah, yeah. that's what I like. Would you walk around the hotel in it? Like, like the whole day and shit? Like, first first of all, I didn't even know how to, like, like when my son was little and he was into wrestling, we had one of them little wall, target belts. I'd right. throw that motherfucker around. This motherfucker's heavy as shit. I don't yeah. even know how to wear it. Like, you know what I mean? So right. um, I did take it to the to the corner bar and brought yeah. it in there. Yeah. Yeah. It like, yeah. yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, let me get a blue moon. They was like, oh, you a, you a boxer? I said, do I look like I can throw fucking hands? <laughs> I'm a wrestler, if anything. I ain't fucking right. throwing no Oh, Also, uh, I have a question. I always wanted to ask this too. Battle Rap Hall of Fame, five first inductees. Mm. Right. Who would they, they be? They call that Mount Rushmore. Okay. Or four inductees then. But mm. I, I, we're going to say five. First five okay. inductees in the Battle Rap Hall of Fame. Head, bus, everything. Excluding uh, myself. Oh, man. That's a we tough one. You got to exclude yourself. 
That's real tough because okay. you got to combine all the different eras, right? So like, no, you don't. You can be as biased as you, you don't. Are, we are talking about all battle all rap, the first and. But they have to have at least 10, 20 years in the game, mm -hmm. at least 10, 15, 10, 15 years in the game at least. So I would say Mook. I would say Thesaurus. Mm. I thesaurus? Would, I would say Thesaurus, man. I would, I would, I would no, I got love for the I Thesaurus. I think that, that like, what, of niggas so before there was Gray but, Hoodie Lux, there was Cincinnati Scribble Jam Thesaurus. That mm. motherfucker was But there was, there was also stadium. Catch You in the Street, Siren Solomon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, Iron Solomon. Two yeah. totally different, though. Yeah. I think totally different, kind of. Yeah, but when sense. they met, <laughs> yeah, you know I what I'm saying? saying. <laughs> <laughs> Whoop your ass in the street, your ass Iron in Solomon. The street. You know what I mean? So, um, <laughs> for me, being from New York, I would, I would have to give that slot to Iron Solomon. Mm -hmm. Because I, can I, saw, I saw what he did out here. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And um, um, Solomon was the crossover. Thesaurus, Scribble Jam, Kenny Doc, but Solomon could play on any was platform. Right, fight right. Club, Smack, whatever. See, I didn't Smack see his DVD. Fight Club stuff, and I heard he was crazy in Fight Club too, right? right. So, um, so how many? That's like three, right? Yeah. That's so you said Mook. I'm going Mook. I'm going Saurus. I'm going Jin. Jin. Not long. Didn't yeah. sustain. You got to. I, I, it don't, I mean, I you, can't, you ain't got to like him. I'm I just saying. Yeah. Like, you I, know. And, I, and listen, Jin was one of the he first brought a lot of people to the battle yeah. right. culture. Right. He, he was one of the first ones I watched. But yeah. nah, because I don't, I don't know that he sustained it long yeah, enough. Yeah, absolutely. And, then, and it was a, a bad crash. Like that serious Jones shit was, was uh, like when everyone was like, oh, like that. That's more than just finding out he's mortal. But but you know what I'm saying? I was saying it wouldn't have been a bad crash if he didn't rise so fast. You feel me? Valid. Getting the Rough Rider situation and all that. Like, he was one of the first people to get a deal off of Battle Rap. I'm going to go Lux. I got to put Lux in there. And the only one I'm sure about is Mook and Lux. I can't really. I'm trying to think of. Mook and Lux, for sure. Mook and Lux? So you put how Lux many? Two? Okay. I think I got four, right? Mook, Lux, Saurus. Uh huh. Mook, Lux, Saurus. Um, yeah, Lux, like and if, you got, if you got Mook up there, you don't need Lux. What you mean? Lux you got Mook up there, you don't need Lux, son. I, I might throw I, We talking about the first people to go up there. I, I yeah, might even like, go. I might like, go the there, first gone. people you think was making a name a for, for Battle Rap. That's odd. Yes. Yeah. I think Jin, yeah, because Jin had a power summit. He was killing those. Mm -hmm. um, Fight Club. Mm. He was doing his thing in there. Mm. I, I, I've been in battle competition before people knew who I was, that Jin was taken every time he showed up. Mm. I think Averb. Averb? Averb will get one, nice one of my five. You know, because they're heroes. Yeah, man. Yeah. I don't know. Man. I think being from New York, you don't realize how yeah, hard it is to break through and get and get battle rap acceptance or like or acceptance from somewhere else like you New York is like harder you think it was a mistake a lot yeah. bro so Averb was booked a lot do you think that was a mistake booking them that no, much it's no, a reason behind that right but when you talk about founders first people yeah okay Oh, so it, no. I mean, it, well, but if you talk about Midwest kind yeah, of shit, not, that's that, what I'm that, saying. That, that first, we're talking about like, the first. In, in, he he in led that Midwest wave through. I think, in my opinion, he he kind of did lead yeah. that Midwest wave. Gave you guys L competition. Also, you know what I'm saying? I give him that. You but, guys were dominating shit. But yeah. there's already a five before he gets there. Mmm. Mmm. Speak on it. Mmm. Jen Jones, Mook, um, Solomon. Who would be the other person? Do we count? We, know, we don't count shells. Solomon is a I don't really know. I'm thinking shell. of the entire, so not just from, because you think of now, like. Professor Green. Jen is not here right now. Jen. Yeah. No, but we're not even talking about like we're talking here about, right now. We're talking about like the same way if they went back. You like you wouldn't you just story. If they started the Hall of Fame for football right now, you wouldn't have Tom Brady, Drew Brees, and them yeah, in there right now. Right. So you're saying you can't process. include anyone as They wouldn't active? get in get in before refrigerated. I, in my opinion, Jones, I, would, you know, I, would, I would I would put it uh, they I could mean, still be active, but I would put it to a ten to fifteen year range. Of what just straight Arsenal? battling. Arsenal Ar I mean, Ar I mean, and then has done some phenomenal things for battle rap in on every platform. Well, then, then you gotta let in Lux before yeah. you let in Arsenal. 
Yeah, because Arsenal came. I mean, from, Arsenal came from Fight Lions Club Den. and um, mm-hmm. Lions Den. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're talking about the first five, the first five is different. So at what of point? All time, at what point that's does another cat? That's at another. What point, oh, so if you're talking about like putting in just pioneer shit, right? right? right. That's way different. Than if you're just going be, pioneer, right. well, then you you could think of motherfuckers like Juice. You know what I'm saying? From yeah. Juice yeah. is like yeah, Juice from Juice Scribble, could like, make yeah. it before. Um, you, you know, know what I mean? Double O idea, idea from Double O. You feel like Double O would be in there? nigga Double O. What's my other nigga name? Moon would probably be in there before. One nigga tell two niggas. Two niggas, oh, tell three. Solo, uh, solo. Oh, Solo. Oh, Solo. He uh, wasn't the king of the fight club, but he was a good addition. Funny as hell, nigga. Yeah. Climb but you know wall, what? The reason, the point I'm trying to make down. is the reason why it's so hard because the, the genre hits everybody different or everybody was probably brought to it in a different kind of way. Right. So I would the reason for it is to just compare to see, like, what would you, being in the business and what right. would y'all consider to be your greatest or or people worthy enough to even have their head on a wall on your wall or your hall of fame? Like, See, when you say worthy. something like Lux, though, do you reward brand protection mm. more than you reward the consistency of an arsenal? Right? Do you say Loaded Lux did so much by not battling as much mm. and, and and making himself on this? And Lux is great. I'm not saying he's right. Lux is incredible. I, you know what I'm saying? It depends Does that make on where, sense? It depends on where it starts for you because if that's the case, then Lux would be Eminem and I would be Snoop Dogg right now. Because I'd be like, I know a bunch of other people that was around before he got, got here, here that yeah. I would give that spot to. You dig okay. what I'm saying? Okay. Uh, okay. I, I just like, I don't know. I think I'm more but of the we mindset. We can't just talk I, about before. It's impact, too. I reward, I think, like, the I think, consistency. Yeah. Lux holds throw, you way know more I mean? impact than some of the guys that you mentioned. And I, th- I think Arsenal is... Probably all of them, to me. He was one of the first people to go get a Who? big check in grind time. Jim? You know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> he was on a, but he was on a motherfucking roll. And like, Ar- I, that's I when Ars was doing a lot of animated <laughs> shit. This nigga was doing drop kick, dropping down on his knees and shit, you know? I mean, I don't him know, and we Hollow. Get, we get points for that. Um, get I'm, I'm, he was just super. I, I, don't, I didn't say that. I'm just saying he was mad animated <laughs> back then. He was doing yeah, a lot he, of he shit. He was doing a lot. And in the game, you think about oh, it, um, dudes was just finding T-Rex, themselves. Because even Hollow. I was sticking around. Rex. Rex. Off his shirt off. Yeah. Nigga, this nigga we was this big. We're going to put Jim before T Rex. I'm not like, putting Jim before T Rex. T Rex would be number five. T Rex. Boom. Okay. Yeah. He would be number five. I ain't going to even lie, bro. Like, when I. Like, Scott Mob, when I. When they first started their little wave, I ain't going to even lie, bro. I was like, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I boom, dissed me in the motherfucking rhyme and shit. I was like, fuck that, <laughs> He dissed you? What he said? Oh, uh, it was um, it was Fight Club, I think. Um, the pool table shit. Where he was right at the pool yeah. table? Nigga said, um, oh, fuck. We spoke about it, though. Me and Mook cool. But he said, um, some shit, some, something, forget it. You might get a little red man, but we don't fuck with method. And shit, and I was like, oh, mm. I was we don't crushed. fuck with your method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I was crushed. I was like, damn. But he, but it wasn't but like this. No, no, like no, 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 no. I, but the way I That's heard it, you know what I'm saying? He was like, what, what, what? This what the fuck? fuck? What the fuck? fuck but he explained that to me. You know, where's Bond? He explained that to me. Yeah, and it was absolutely on point and shit. But I was like, damn, man. I used to like this nigga, man. So but that wave, but that wave right there was like, yo. And this was before I even heard K Shine and shit. You right. know what I mean? And it was like, yo, who is these niggas? And I was thinking like on some Wu Tang shit. I ain't gonna even fucking lie. Like, are all these niggas mm-hmm. nice? Mm-hmm. Is all these niggas nice? And then you got Rex leading the motherfucking charge, and next thing you know, yeah. this shit became part of the fucking battle crime battle rap. Rex would Get be- that nigga! Rex! Insert name. Rex. Get that nigga! Insert name, but it came from. Um, get that, that nigga Rex! Get that nigga Rex! Rex. Set off, he set off a, a spark throughout Harlem. That was crazy. That too. really, really, he's the godfather of this shit. You know if what you, stood out for me? One night, niggas, St. Louis niggas came out, Midwest niggas came out, and um, they wanted to battle and shit, and they wanted guts to battle. Niggas like, nah, I got some pussy. Yeah. Go get some pussy. Nigga, let's go get some pussy. I was so mad. Yeah. Like, I would've got, yeah, I would've, I know, right? fuck that shit, nigga. Nah, fuck that pussy. That pussy gonna be there. Princess, That's the reason why you're getting the pussy. Right. <laughs> he's crazy. <laughs> Yo, good right. But yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> I, I'm glad I posed that question because it's going to be polarizing no matter who's in the motherfucking room. But man. the story got to get told. It's got to yeah. get told. Hey. It, it's tough however you equate it, though. You know what I mean? Like, do you, like, if you're talking inaugural, people that broke down doors and shit, okay, then that's a different. If you're talking about 
just if battle rap were to be done today and then I had to put who would it be that's a different okay, so but that's, that's a different yeah. five right mm. right right there might be a couple maybe one or two people that's, that remain but it's a it's yeah the rest of them okay are, so we're on the you same know, swapping yeah. it out but you said something that they kind of when you heard um mook say that you was like damn what the fuck is this me um no it I, was like 3 a.m in the motherfucking morning i was channel surfing and shit so right. you know yeah how how do y'all feel about this this um M and Snoop situation? I don't give a fuck. Cause I, I I look at that like this. Um does it affect me in any way? No. <laughs> does it affect any of my family members or anybody I know? Right. No. No, I mean, I, but from your perspective, would you um, take offense? No, nah, not at all, because in a room with just us in it, when we boys and shit like that. Right. We say shit like that to each other. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I don't fuck with your shit. Your shit was whack, nigga. I ain't, and it, it's not taken any way, but when it's put in a public forum, you know what I mean? Right. It, it takes on a whole different light. Right. Like, I can sit here and, and tell my, my best friend, like Joey and shit, shut the fuck up, Joey. But when we just, when it's just me and him, he won't take it no kind of way. But when we're in a room full of motherfuckers, you'd be like, shut the fuck, fuck up, Joey. Now it takes on a whole different light. It's like, damn, you gonna like, play I, me like that in front of niggas? I ain't gonna, shit, I, what kind of I ain't gonna spot that? him the next time yep. he's trying to. That's the point, though. <laughs> so I think M should have just looked at it as boys being boys kind of thing. It's right. like, so what? He don't fuck with your music, nigga. So what the fuck? He, right. said, he said, you know, he ain't say he don't fuck with you. He just saying, you know, I don't play that shit. But again, being that it was a public. Platform. That's why it, it hits a little different. So right. for Eminem, who's revered not just by you know white kids, but you know black people alike and shit, because we know he respects the genre. Yeah, I mean, people. If people want to start drawing lines in the sand, that line was already there, nigga. Right. Period. You know, mm -hmm. there, there's some motherfuckers that's so big, they, they, I mean, they such Eminem stands and shit, like, the nigga could say the wackest bar in the world, and they'd be like, oh my God, dude, did you just hear what the fuck Eminem said, bro? Yeah. The dude said marbles and balls, bro. I've never heard it, I've heard it before, but I've never heard anyone like say that. it like that before, bro. And you sitting there like, nigga, right. the fuck, nigga, the, you know, and same thing with Snoop. It's like, I'm pretty sure Em has heard verses from Snoop where he was like, nigga, that shit was garbage. You know, but he could tell Snoop that, but Em is the type of person that only tells Snoop that in, an, in a safe space, right. in a safe environment, knowing the ramifications of it being a public thing. Right. Snoop, on the other hand, Snoop ain't even a rapper no more. This nigga a public persona. Yeah. He is a, Snoop is just like, what do they call that shit? Like, beyond superstar, it's like you're, yeah, a mogul. There yeah. you go. He's beyond mogul. superstar. So Snoop, everything Snoop do is public for him. You got to take that shit with a grain of salt. One time I said Snoop was the worst uh, rapper, actor I've ever seen and shit, right? Mm -hmm. when next time I seen Snoop, what's good, nephew? It wasn't nothing. That nigga could have gave two fucks because he got the check already. <laughs> right. The fuck he care about that shit, nigga? Right? right? And plus, I didn't mean it that way anyway. I yeah. was just saying rappers is actors and shit. We don't do the homework or whatever. But yeah. anyway, man, it's like to have... To be in this business, and we all know Eminem doesn't have thick skin. You can tell by his records that he doesn't have thick skin. And if anybody said anything sideways about him, he right. went ape shit and went in on him to the point where it's like he ruined careers. He's trigger happy like a battle rapper. But we love that shit because that's where the culture came from, especially exactly. battle rappers. Exactly. They love that shit. I but feel like battle rappers are, are just like that. And I think everybody Eminem, and I think man. everybody Eminem ever dissed sport. on record. He hated like their asses, but he can't. He don't shit. have that energy with Snoop, huh? so it hurt him as opposed to yeah. igniting him. Right. It was more hurt oh, yeah, than ignite. Yeah, yeah. You know, uh, if I'm wrong, correct me. Shit. Now, now, Miss Miss just told me that you know she's a good sport. I'm a good Mind sport. Mind you, uh, we just had a conversation the other day. I'm not gonna put it out there, but she was like, "Yeah." So I had to call a bitch and be like, "Yo, you know, that's cool, but I'm gonna punch you in your face if you do it again." I'm like, "Yo, yo, son." It had nothing to do with rap. Uh, I'm gangsta outside of rap. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, if it was some rap like, shit, I'm uh, like, I don't care what you're saying, you're right. right. But right. if you outside, you like pressing me, oh, I'm gonna knock you out. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, it was some other shit. But like, if they talking shit, like, like I, I said it on the show before, right. that M really do, he he can't take when somebody say something nah. bad about him. But and you know, M said, I think he dissed me, I think he dissed me in Zeus. I'm just putting it up. He did. Word. It yes, starts off. He starts I the whole it. verse. 
I, look, M, we don't now, know. Some, we don't now, know. if he didn't, that's some narcissistic shit. To no, say but right I feel like he, yo, son, when, when we all heard it, we was like, he's talking about misfit. Oh, fuck I out. know he's talking about this. Well, he said she thinks that I'm trash, but, but she listened to Takashi. But you lost me. me. Uh, oh, she thinks she wants me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Me. you listen to Takashi? <laughs> <laughs> That's what everybody said after that. Yo, so like we, we did an episode, right? Okay. See how she don't answer it, though? And That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. When Gummo came out, I was fucking with it hard. Mm. Why? Because he reminded me of Onyx, and I'm a huge Onyx fan. Okay. He reminded, he reminded me of that, ah, ah, when they was just like right. screaming. He got that boy. He got that energy. You right. Yeah. Did you cop so, Did you totally cop not Onyx, though? Totally not Onyx. Did you cop Talentil? He got that no, energy. I, yeah. No. That's, I'm with you. I'm with you. Not Onyx. Yeah, but when you. you hear him on the radio, he, he was like, I was like, yo, who's this boy screaming like Onyx? Mm. Yeah. Cool. Boom. On the, um, on the episode or whatever, everybody gave me grief for it because I said Machine Gun, um, rec- this record was better. Right? <sighs> Everybody was like, oh my God, yeah, Miss Fee, you're well and blah, blah, blah. And that's the same episode that he was talking about on Crooked Eyes show. Yeah, he said, yeah, I watch my expert opinion. Ah, ah. So whatever, whatever. But then she in the think, same she right. She thinks I that I'm s- trash, but she listens to the oh, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> But then when he said she think machine wash me, when yeah. I heard that, when I was that, like, that part, oh. I was like, uh, okay, yeah, I was like, just yo, might be. I was like, yeah, yo, you talking about me? What the fuck? Damn. I brought it back. First Damn. time I heard it, I brought it back. I was like, <laughs> yo, goat so lines, I know it. Goat lines, I know it. I was like, that's don't a, it was a dope record. But then, what do you even do? I'm telling you. What do you even do? Snoop, no. She was like, yo, Machine Gun Kelly won that battle. What are you talking about? No, but I'm saying, like, when you heard that. No, when I heard, I didn't even hear it first. I got mad ads in, in, on Twitter, and they're like, yo, Eminem's talking about you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, yes, where? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, 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 what I'm saying is you, you can't even like capitalize feature. off it, right? No, because he didn't say Because fucking Riff Raff dissed me. Oh, did he? Yeah. Riff Raff dissed you? Riff Raff got a song, a video with James Franco. He's not even in it. And he goes, battle, he goes, substitute know, teachers so. become battle rappers. And then my what? homie was his DJ at the time, was like, yeah, that was about you. I was like, why? Why you just say my name so I can do something? Like, what? yeah, I'm like, I can't well, even do I mean, shit. Hold on, hold on, hold on. If he was talking about me, Legend that's Zoom, fine. coming that's soon. Fine. Riff rap versus real, real, real deal. deal. Oh Let's get it go. Oh. No, Let's no. get it power. No, no, Riff no, rap no, rides no, with no, gym no. class. We yeah. already Fuck one that. bar what? deep. <laughs> you like, come on, Legends my nigga. Legends only Misfits versus M. Come, come, no. come. Eminem? Yeah. I'll be on the scared? undercard. I got Riff on the undercard. Day. I ain't nothing to be, ain't nothing to be scared of really. in the first place any motherfucking way because you do this. It's an honor to be in Because you do this, right? But no, it's no, an honor. no. The, the, the form, the 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 form of 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 battle rap is is to expect the unexpected, right? Him mm-hmm. got a whole fucking catalog. If he go up there and shit, it's more or less like it's not. I'm not saying we we know what to expect, but it's kind of like. We know what to expect, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> you know. So I mean, yeah. which will give me the upper hand? I don't know. Uh, that nigga nasty. Yeah, that nigga nasty. Yeah, what is that? This is like you a got, minute, and which it's, is which it's is pre-recorded. Bro. Which brings me back we to the him and Snoop shit. That's which <laughs> brings me back to the him and Snoop shit. And I'm thinking when he Matt, battle people, he see he see he see people getting gutted. He's chopping heads. He don't want to do that. He ain't doing that to Snoop. You know, oh, Snoop, yeah. he looks at Snoop in a whole different light. When he so was it's talking like, about the Snoop thing, he was only yeah, he, saying he, on the didn't same like, record. he didn't like the tone that Snoop was using. He was like, I don't care if you don't love my raps. It was the tone. Well, he said at the end, he said, when you said you could do away with my panel, you could do away with it. He said, that was all fine when he said, I don't listen to it, whatever he said. But when you, he said something along the lines of, like you said, like, I can do away with his whole music and not miss a beat or some shit. Okay, that would be our rap. That's a, uh, that, that felt. Per- well, I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, kind of like if you, if you read that, like, and I, I think the same thing. Like, right, it's like kind of felt personal. It's some layers. I'm gonna leave it alone. There's some layers to that shit. I'm thinking somebody. I'm thinking maybe somebody didn't come through for somebody somewhere, and yeah, it's just a little Listen, weird. That's what I'm saying. Man. Someone, someone was saying it's about a feature or something. I hope not too. because it can't be because these motherfuckers damn that label. Somebody me. said that. No, no, but somebody said that. Yeah. It was a Snoop song that Eminem didn't want to get on. But we don't know. We're all speculating. Yeah. Uh, Let's not speculate. Let's just keep it 100 and say, she thinks that I'm trash, but she listens to some kind She ain't gun wash me. With friends like this. I love you. With friends like this. I love you, bitch. I love you, bitch. Coming at me. 
I love him. Yo, I'll be yo, that, that, that pause. I'll be like, yo, you should say that this. That's major motherfucking props right there. I'm going to be there. You should call me out. Tag me in. It was great. You know what I'm saying? But if you want smoke, your next battle just... Name drop him real quick. He watching. He nah, waiting for, he well, waiting for the name me. drop because he already wrote 30 hold, bars hold on, before she we even did this. She's she about to go murder Ab. She's about to go murder no, Ab, man. No, no, no. He already we, had we 30 know, bars we, after we he wrote you, that. We love you, M. I always thought you were a better rapper than Machine Gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, I still do. I just uh, kind of liked his record. He was eating cereal in the video. It was dope. So what? I don't care. And and so, and yeah. It was dope. And yeah. um, Me and but in all my I videos think Zeus on. is phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> I love Zeus. You be bumping it? I be bumping it. I be like, yo. So why you getting yo, mad at me? You know you talking about me, right? <laughs> I be in, uh, in the car. Yo, yo, you know I'm talking about me, right? I'm going to do a skit you, like that every corner. I think yo, when you, know you have something me, right? like that, when you have an Eminem, that's... That's never going to go anywhere. He's done solidified himself like no, Trumpers. I, yeah, yeah. No, I hate to even compare it to that and shit, but he solidified himself with a bass like Luther Vandross is for some reason. Like Luther Vandross, sometimes we ain't even know the nigga dropped the album. I look at the charts, the billboard, this nigga's shit platinum in a week. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? That kind of shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we're always going to have an Eminem there. But when you're talking about an OG like Snoop, we talking Snoop. History runs so motherfucking deep. deep. He's. Yeah. he's He's tied directly tied to NWA, who yeah. changed music forever Tupac. as far as radio. Word. Tupac, you know, it's yeah. like he has some some dope allegiances. Mm-hmm. So being an Eminem and having someone that you look at as that, and you on the same team with him, to know that y'all was in the same studio <laughs> working with some of the same producers and he ain't fucking with your shit. shit yeah. It hurts. It yeah, hurts, but hurt. don't get emotional that about hurt. that shit, man. Just gotta take that like to a like, like, when, when we do the show and I find out like she don't watch my battle, she don't do you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> she yeah, think man. I'm like like top 25 <laughs> or something like that. I'm like, yo, it's fucked up. Man, you know what what I'm saying? I watched I watched a couple of your battles. You very graphic with the sexual innuendo and how you going you know, you know, certain shit with the and shit like that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, it, but you know, like I said, it, it's battle rap and shit. And, and when I watch the female MCs, when I watch the female battle rappers, I hold them to such a higher standard because they all seem so fucking smart. You know what I mean? In the best way. (laughs) In the best way. See, you hater. You a hater. See, look. Look, all right. For one, for one, for one, I'll give you one example. I'll give you one example. (laughs) Tori Doe. Tori Doe had niggas biting her shit for months when she did the remote shit. Now you got niggas trying to... Seat belt won't buck, all kind of shit going on. That ain't slight at you, Tay Rock, whatever. It was, shit. But, but <laughs> I'm just saying though, like, and then just yeah, she's dope as fuck. How the fuck? Like, I, I, I'm just amazed at how you show up so glamorous in some of the dirtiest spots in the world with some of the grimiest niggas in the world, and still hold your own, right? And say some of the most foulish shit out your mouth, and still hold your own. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, Tori's one of the one, one of them one of them girls. You know, what I mean? she was always good. Yeah. Um, she was like holding. She had this like Harlem swag that I I, I liked about mm-hmm. her. Um, Tori. E Heart, come on. E Heart e is one me. of the OGs in this shit. I battled E Heart. Yeah, one. she won. She shit on me too um, randomly in right. a battle. She was like. URL book of nerds like for <laughs> <laughs> the Oh my god damn. Like yeah. I went Yeah, yeah. man. She went to did a all black a, public did you school. Send a shot bro. Back? No, I, I was mean, busy beefing with Riff Rap. Real deal person. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Riff Rap. Riff, okay. riff Rap. Riff Rap. Okay, Riff Rap, E no, Heart. No, like what yeah. you want? It was random though. Like it was so random. Someone was like, yo, she just was like He's a fucking yo. nerd. No, I'm just serious. I'm about to get you a riff rap as a legend. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. No, Everybody that I link. know that know riff rap say he one of the coolest motherfuckers on the planet. Like he mad cool. Yeah, yeah I, I don't think, I think he was just he saying to be you. funny or something. But my man, like I said, my man DJ <laughs> Afterthought. DJ Afterthought's my dude. He was his DJ at the time. Right. Like, he was touring and everything, and he was like, "Yo, yeah." I was like, "Yo," he just said. And it was a video, he's not even in the video, it's James Franco, the entire video, right? And he's yeah. like, and he's like, substitute teachers become battle rappers or whatever. And he was like, yeah, that was definitely about you. We was talking about your battle. That's crazy. Be James Franco though, right? 
What's that? The James Franco. The James Franco. Yep, yep. Yeah, he yep. a cool motherfucker too. Yeah. Very so cool. I was like, damn. I was like, I can't even benefit off that. Though. Right. Ain't even it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I, cause like it wasn't a diss diss, but it was. It was like. Like, what was the purpose of him even saying it? It was so fucking random. Not Eminem and Snoop battle. Who wins? Uh, well, Snoop, because Snoop wore that Penguins jersey in motherfucking 91 on that bike. <laughs> you know how many people in Pittsburgh, like, yeah, think Snoop is the god it. for that? I already yeah. know. They're I like, already yo, know. Snoop can do no fucking wrong. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wore the Pittsburgh <laughs> Penguins jersey on MTV for a performance, and they met out on the Penguins I don't oh, even watch fucking man. hockey, nigga. That's it. When he was on that bike with the Penguins, yeah. we was all like... That's right. Tell him about Pittsburgh. So we thought like he was out there like trying to put people on to Pittsburgh, but nah, it was just like, that's just dope. I have like no. He thought he probably thought it was Steelers. He didn't, you know what I mean? Man, didn't, I have. These are Steelers. I was the biggest Die Snoop hard. fan in fucking high school. I got like forty fucking Snoop albums from Dogfather to fucking. I, I gotta go Snoop, man. Jets, nigga. Yeah. Shout out to Team Hami. Jets. Fabio just walked by with two two poodles. <laughs> yo, shout out, yo, shout out to Ill Will on his on his newborn. Respect, L. Yeah, Ill Will. Word. Shout out to Ill Will. Families is getting bigger. Battle rappers is getting older. I'm waiting for the first fully gray. Man, stop dying your shit like me and shit. We what you mean? Come on. Yeah. Oh, we got. Why you ain't seeing this? Natural. No, no, but there's a bite. No, no. no. Fucking natural. I'm there's a bite. Like Colonel fucking milk. Cool. Um, <laughs> Cal Castellus. Castellus. And it kind of reverses that. Math was telling me about that shit. The source, you ain't seen the source. No, he got the math full fucking yeah. telling me about wow. that shit. Wow, that's crazy. Uh, the oh. source got the full gray beard. Sorry, oh, yeah, he's, he's it, Gandalf. That, it actually like looks good on him. Yeah, yeah. I really like enjoy it. It doesn't look Father good time. on everybody. I, listen, I'm not fucking with Father Time. I'm not dying my shit because then you know he, he's gonna fuck with me in other ways. If you wanna give me a little gray, I'll take it. Fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I don't know about that. that. Maybe people will respect my opinion a little bit more with a little bit of gray hair. You know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. I'm like, nah, fuck they, that. Every, every, every fucking, every rhyme is going to be like, <laughs> they be trying to hit ice and shit. What? Nigga, you like 50 battle rapping. Did it, did it, did. How old is ice? Shit, like how old is ice? Oh, man, I just went through something with like this guy. I can't even do it. <laughs> Me and ice just went through some shit. I can't even do it. <laughs> I can't uh, even go there. Shout out to Head Ice. Right. But I shout out to the know God. You bring, up a, good point, you bring up a point, though. A yeah. great I, point. I, wanted, I always wondered, like, why the fuck is hip hop the only genre that with a cutoff God. age? Yeah, and, you be, and people be like right. three years younger than someone else calling them old as fuck. Yeah. Yes. Like, I've seen an interview recently. It's funny, the Eminem shit. Who was Everlast? Was like, he kept calling me old. I'm like two years oh, older than yeah. him. Yeah. He's yeah. talking about I'm gonna have a heart attack and shit. I'm like, I'm fucking two years older than you, bro. But that's like, funny because he actually did have a heart attack. Yeah, but he actually did have a heart attack. So, like, yeah, when these like battle rap is the same, and someone would be like four years older than so nigga, years in the old. grand scheme of things. Ain't no, but I'll be 50 this year. Period. I am old, nigga. I'll be 50. In hip hop period, why is there a cutoff age? Why do why do people have this feeling yeah. like once you get to a certain age, you can't be good anymore? Didn't uh, didn't your boy Biggie have that interview where Probably Biggie was of some like of the childish shits we do, some of the childish think, things we I, did as kids and all that shit. I don't think shit. it's a cutoff age. Like rock stars do it until they like. About this is what I'm saying, right? but. but for every other genre, it's I not think it, like that. I think it's not okay to be old and still haven't got success. That's, well, the that's stigma, bad. The stigma it's like you're to me, 50 and you're still trying to do right, something. Right. Maybe but the stigma to me was still rapping at a late age. Still like, like performing shows like this is your job. Right. At a late age, like because we know where it starts at and the journey it takes to get to that point. And if you're still just doing shows, right. it's like you didn't. You achieve. didn't make it. You didn't. Right. I mean, what was that? But, but, but how big was that? like? like I don't want to be oh, thirty. I rapping. Say, you remember that skit? But boy? that's because we was young. Yeah, that's what I mean. But yeah. it, it gets pushed farther back. Right? Because at I wanna, a point, I want to say rest in peace, MF Doom. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Man, wow. He passed away, but. Just I didn't really pay attention to MF Doom and learning the age that he passed at mm. till he was like 40. Mm. That's when I started chiming in. I like, remember him from KMD is... though. From way Peach back. Fudge, yeah, all that. Yeah. But I was chiming in like within the past 10 years because I, mm. I started getting like hip to who was still touring. Mm. And, you know what I mean? Like the, 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 the people that was still had a fan base around the world. Right. The guy, the upper echelon guys. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Where 
hip hop in a way just seemed more important outside of America. So when I heard, when I found out, oh, he was 49? Yeah. Yeah. With more projects on the way? Yeah. You gotta think certain eras, how hard it was to even get in the fucking business. You look, and, and, the, and then to elevate to a point where you're above everybody else, you look at a LL Cool J. When he came out, they didn't even know how to market fucking hip hop, let alone knew where to play it at. Right. So it was only regulated to two days, Fridays and Saturdays, if y'all remember. I don't know who was around. You was probably around about that time, right? We had Mr. Magic, Red Alert. They didn't even know how to market this shit. And to still get pushed up to that upper echelon. And then Run DMC did what was unheard of. Because we wasn't fucking with rock and roll right. at this point. But them niggas went and did something because of the influence of having a Rick Rubin on the team. They went and did something unheard of. They meshed hip hop with rock mm -hmm. to the point where they didn't just elevate their careers. They brought Aerosmith shit back from the fucking dead. Yeah, right. Yeah. So we talking about eras where not only was it hard for, you know, just for people of color to even survive, it's even harder for people of color with talent to survive in an industry that not even geared for them with a music that's not even world accepted yet, right. you know what I'm saying? Then when you get to an era where uh, the Wu-Tangs and all these niggas came in, I'm not gonna say it was easier, but it was slightly easier because they were looking for authenticity. Why? Because they had it back then. It's like getting that first fix. Right. We want that again. Who do we know that can do you know that, that or whatever? Yeah. And they start going through all this little bullshit or whatever, who can we get? So then a lot of I hate to say it, a lot of these newer MCs are right. All that 90s shit wasn't hot, hot. Niggas like, 90s was the best era. No, it wasn't. Mm -hmm. It was cool. It was a nice era and shit. For me, late 80s, early 90s. I'll do that. But a lot of that shit... It's the best era? Yeah, it's the best era. It's late 80s, early 90s as the best era. That was my era and, and when I was just late, everything Late 90s, early 2000s. That was your era. Yeah. So I, I feel like it has something to do with your age at the time. Yeah. And what music starts meaning. When you start choosing your music. Yeah. Because when you're young, you're like, you're just hearing the shit your parents are playing. You know what I mean? You get to a certain age, you start choosing what you want to listen to. Yeah. And I feel like that era is always going to be your favorite era. The beauty of it, though, living in New York, we didn't know that out of state, and I got a feel for this, when my mother sent my ass to Indiana, they didn't get any fucking hip hop. None, you hear me? None. Even the video channels, we had a little bit, we felt a little bit of it, but we had video music box, right. shit like that. Right. Shout out to Robert but Daniels. when I went to Long Island, when I went to Indiana, it was video shows I never even heard of before. You know what I mean? We watching Donnie Simpson and shit like that. So the only kind of videos we getting is maybe a little new edition here. Get, uh, Gregory Abbott, you on my mind. Yeah. Shake it down, yeah, shit like that. Yeah. yeah. We ain't getting none of that shit. So it brings me back to how in the fuck did these kids who decided to fucking climb up a pole and plug some shit in to get the D, no lights on, Get a DJ cutting, and a nigga that was only there to hype up the DJ became the center of motherfucking, motherfucking attraction. attraction. What? Amazing. What? I got to use the bathroom part. Amazing. What's your favorite era? Oh, you got to speak loud because we mic'd up. Um, I wanted to say something in regards to the question you asked about like the age of the people like dating hip-hop. Right. Um, I think that when you actually... Start your career, the fans hold you to when you started your career. And hip hop is kind of based on trends. We talk about a lot of materialistic shit, and right. material things wear out after a while. Mm -hmm. So, based on the fans' perspective, it's like you could have dropped five years ago, but if you're not keeping up with the trends and talking the shit, the lingo and all that shit, currently they date you as like. Oh, yeah, they, 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 they kind of kind of mark you out with the trend. Right, right. But, that, you know, the one thing that Immortal Technique said to me that I always. That always stuck to me. He was like, listen, Hoffa, there's two things you can do. And, you know, you know I, more tech, nah, I ain't you. there's two things you can do, Hoffa. You can be part of a trend. 
and you might have more success because everybody follows the trend. But here's the problem. <laughs> Once someone else comes along who's better at that trend or has the new trendiest trend, they're gonna leave you because they were only fans of the trend. Mm. But if you give them something to believe in, they, you might not have as much fans as the trendy rappers, but they will follow you forever. Mm. And I was like, somebody did that, who did that? Okay, yeah, did that. Yeah. What happened? Why? What happened? Why I get quiet and shit? What the fuck? Your favorite era. No, we was just talking about. Oh no, no, she listening to Takashi and shit. This gotta be (laughs) at least you know 2015 to 2020. What we talking here? Talk to me, sis. Uh, I would say late '90s, 2000s. Late late '90s, 2000s. Late '90s, 2000s. Me too. Bang bang. You know how many fucking groups came out? Right. Like Rumpel Tillskin, fucking uh, um, the youngsters. The youngsters. Oh, fuck. remember the youngsters? Uh, what nah, happened Karan, to the youngsters? My nigga. Nah, Karan. Uh, Karan is um, Cubo. He produced uh, breakups to make up. The joint I got with Fifty in the video and yeah. shit. Yeah, he produced that. Wow. He, a lot of the track master shit. I'm not gonna say a lot because I can't fully back this up with facts, but he was instrumental in a lot of the track masters' tracks. Wow. Let's put it that way. Dope. Yeah, I mean, you know, some of these dudes are still around too, man. And it, and and I'm not gonna lie, it brings it brings joy to my heart to see them and them look fucked up, some of these niggas, and I still look the way I do and shit, because it gives me hope. <laughs> no, 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 I know that's a fucked up thing to say and shit. Yo, man, come on. I know that's a fucked up it, thing it to say and up. shit, but hopefully I can inspire them to want better for themselves. Right. And it's not everybody, but you know, right. there's a few of us out there that just totally fell Dismosed by the waistline. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it could be a, it could be a plethora of things, man, from mental illness to just financial Demise. Financial situations, drug yeah. abuse. All kind of shit. All types of stuff. But I want people to stop putting the age on hip hop. They can't. Like, if, if you nice at 60, let that motherfucker rap. Can you stay nice at 60, though? Can you? Yeah. Know. We about to find out. I yeah. think you ha- you can get older, but you have to mature with your sound, too. You right. can't be 60 Why, talking though? about the block. Why? If you're still on the block. But if you're why? still on the block. Especially that's if horrible. especially if you had a No no I'm just saying. But I'm saying like, though, especially if you had a uh, kids all right. don't inspire like but no, no, I'm not saying I'm not saying where you glorifying right. it, but it's like an right. OG talking to a youngin that been there. But you're maturing your lyrics. You're not saying I'm on the block. You're saying I've been on the block. Yeah, that's Let me as opposed you. to I'm on the block. But that's uh, yeah, maturing. I get you. you right. What is wrong? Yeah. Like like I think Jay Z does it really well. You know, he'll go from he was going from on oh, pitching crack to all right, now I'm married, now I have kids, now I like art, now, you know what I mean? Yeah. We wouldn't have liked him for so long oh if he would have still been talking about Right, he kept evolving. Crack. I'm selling crack. He's wearing well, he's jerseys, not, then he turned, then he yeah. put on the... the no, but he throw a crack line in there to this yeah, day. He's still, still, yeah, he's still yeah, like yeah, that. But, 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 but to give perspective, to give a perspective. Right, okay. exactly. Okay. Yeah, but perspective. We, we're not no. talking about, <laughs> he's not talking about I'm selling crack. You know what I'm saying? Right. He can't. He can't. Because he ain't. He cannot. But that don't stop him from saying all them... Okay, I'm yeah, but you we know, don't niggas know. Is busting guns. Niggas doing. Look, I done bust my amount of guns and shit in verses and shit. Right. And like it, it. When it comes to the culture, like even for me, I always like to compare it to in a metaphoric kind of sense. Right. Because this is the language that niggas speak, and I want them to right. understand what the fuck I'm saying. See, so right. when it's done in a clever way, I ain't got no problem with an uh, older cat or a young cat talking about pa 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 pa. If it's done in a clever way, you right. know what I mean, and 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 it's not blatantly saying, go out there and shoot a nigga. That shit fun. Right. Go to jail. That shit is hilarious. Right. Shit right. like that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, no, cause cause we know what the real shit is. Right, right. but I'm speaking to why people criticize rappers older. that are older, because sometimes they, they think don't you should mature. Be doing something else. They don't mature. Right. They right. feel mm-hmm. like okay, mm-hmm. like you know, we loved you when you was. Cause there is no. I, I got it. There is no audience. For the older rappers, it's it's, it's casual listening by them. No, no. There no, is no audience. No, that's not true. That's not true. You name 
with the exception of what Buster did, which I think was phenomenal, you name one person from my era selling fucking numbers like M or even Lil Pump was at a point in time and shit. Anybody getting streams like that. Anybody from my era. Name one and it cannot be Jay. I do you one better. I won't say your era, but the content of your era. Griselda is the content yeah. of that era. That had a lot to do with Machine Gun. Right. They, they mentor and shit. But the beats, everything, mm -hmm. I, when I listen to them, yeah. I'm attracted by the nostalgia that I feel from yeah. what I'm hearing. But it came from yeah. someplace. But it, it, you know what I'm saying? It like, came from someplace. It came from that yeah. era. Yeah. Okay. And, and, and it sounds like mm -hmm. this shit might have been on a clue tape. Facts, facts, facts. I agree. But it's that era. All they did was they seen a blueprint that they liked and added on to it. And I commend them brothers for doing that. But right. there is not an MC from my era because of the age stigma that can come back. I don't give a fuck. People love the shit out of DMX. If X dropped the album tomorrow, would I go buy it? Absolutely, I would. But with the masses, would he sell like X and yeah. no, not at it, all. It, it, and they I think love it depends. Him. I think it I depends on it, what man. the sound is. Because Buster's last joint. Don't sound like none of his other albums to me. And moderately speaking, it did it did its sales of what it was supposed to be. I don't know. But I don't even know how it went with streaming and all that shit, because that's where them kids live yeah. now. And I don't know how that how where that went. As far as us, we was happy to see it. Yeah. Yeah. One of ours, and that shit is solid as fuck. But did right. everybody get to hear it that needed to hear it? Mm. I don't think so. Is that I, like Nas? Like how he came? Uh, yeah, uh, even Nas. Look. I, like, I only heard one song. Spicy? You did? Spicy. I only heard no. one song, my that's, nigga. That's, and that's, that's just now. me. And that's yeah. just me. Are you talking like, about the one he did with Ye? And that, and, oh, okay. And the, yeah. I never heard it. And this is me saying, look, when we put on the YouTube in the um, gym, Rick Ross, I don't know who his fucking peoples is, but this nigga's incredible. Yeah. Because we put our shit on, like, I put up a 90s Wu-Tang <laughs> video, so you thinking suggestion-wise, it'd be a bunch of 90s shit. I shit you not, every other it video is Rick, Rick Ross. fucking Ross. Mm -hmm. just, just every switch other over. fucking Rick yeah, bop, I'm not gonna bop, lie. Bop. Sometimes I play shit on YouTube and I'm like, how did I end up here? How did. <laughs> right? What the fuck? Nas, for instance, I see the five year old foreign, he got the two niggas on there and shit. Now, if it was Nas by himself, do you think that that would have got. Because that's the only video I, I'm keeping the book. Spicy. Nas is night. Nice. That's the only video I see. And if you think that he did not have five year old, right? Mm hmm. And ASAP Ferg in that video that these kids would have checked for, they seen Fabio and ASAP Ferg. They know who Nas is, mm -hmm. but they, when they hear Nas, they think 90s are, they already turned off. Right, right, you know right. what I mean? Certain people. But they see Fabio, hey, okay, let me check this shit out real fast. And then, boom. Mm -hmm. But other than that, are they coming to get, are they coming back for the rest of that shit? Mm -hmm. They looking for more names. And, and most of the hip hop now, which is crazy because a symphony record took a lot of energy. And it was basically, you with all your niggas mm -hmm. trying to get recognized on the same fucking record. So everybody trying to outdo each other. Right. Right. And that came from the Juice crew because we didn't know who Master Ace was till after that song. Kane did all them niggas a service. So was that, was, that, was Protect Your Neck? Um, with the exception of G-Rap. G-Rap was already Was Protect beat. Your Neck. Because protect, protect Your Neck was like the first, the first Wu-Tang single? Yeah. yeah. Was that what y'all was doing? On that record? No. That, you know what? It's funny, okay. Um, Wu Tang was supposed to be Old Dirty Bastard, Rizza, and Jizza. Period. That's what it's supposed to be. And that joint that we did, Protect Your Neck, was their posse cut, their symphony, with mm. the niggas from around their way. And it was more or less like bring hundred dollars to the studio. I don't even know if Rizzo asked anybody for a hundred and shit. I think he just asked me and you yeah. because he knew. You know what I'm saying? For real, because he knew we was out there he on just the got like, Why caught us some shit? I brought my hundred. I don't expect, know about anybody else and shit. You God, if you got money. Word. <laughs> I brought my. I don't know about anybody else, but that was supposed to be a posse cut. And Rizzo, being the scientist that he is, he was like, "Why don't we just come with all these niggas? They at the crib every motherfucking week. We was making tapes after tape. We was already hood celebrity. Mm. Right. We was making tape after tape after tape. Shit like the majority." of that shit that we did on the first album was shit that we was doing since we was 15, mm -hmm. 15 fucking years old. Like, that came home from jail with the uh, verse off Cream. Right. He had been saying that shit for about five, six years before mm -hmm. we even recorded it. So if you see the footage in the documentary, Ray's sitting there saying his whole verse. Mm -hmm. 
How Ray know this verse if Deck just spit it in the fucking booth? Bro, bro. Deck was in the booth spitting it. Ray sitting there saying the whole verse like this with him. Because this is the kind of thing we were doing. We was always around each other, rapping, right. doing this shit. Well, then I it became... That, um that album more than the new stuff that people put out. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Classic. I, I I listen to it with a different ear because I know the process by which well, you yeah. made it. Right. <laughs> you wow. are. It was, it, you know, the, 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 I can't even explain some of the mystique of the Wu-Tang, but I think it definitely has to do with the strength in numbers and you can pick and choose, you who know, you like. who you like and shit. Right. And, it's, it's, and, and the lifestyle. Yeah, and we it was a lifestyle that was introduced seen. also. Yeah. And, and we did something nobody had ever seen before up to that yeah. point. So we, 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 we came in as a group and it was like, oh, these niggas rhyme by themselves? Like, mm. that was unfathomable. And at first like, we thought, you oh, can't rhyme by yourself. We was like, they yeah, all yeah, five yeah, percent. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, all, yeah, yeah. they call each other God. <laughs> That's fine. And that was Yo, based let's, off the let's just talk period, like the black man being God. <laughs> it was yeah. a whole lingo, it was a whole being. Like, yeah. You know, I attribute that, a lot of that too, to when the Native Tongues was out. Remember Jungle Brothers, De La Soul, Queen Latif, Moni Love, they were all called the Native Tongues. And remember when it was just cool to have black power and shit. Yeah. I forgot, like, people, they really, like, the and music industry is incredible because they push that shit to the side so quick and flooded us with this with glamour gangsters. and glitz and yeah. gang and shit. And the movies played a part in it, too. I mean, I ain't gonna even lie. First time I heard Throw Your Guns, I wanted to really murder some fucking body. Yeah. Like, yeah, I yeah, wanted so to fucking kill. Like, I was... Mm. That, yeah. that was the first rap song I memorized from start to finish. Wow. Wow. Throw my, your guns. My first one I memorized was Suck MCs. Wow. Because everybody on my sixth grade trip to Philadelphia was singing the whole bus. I never even heard the fucking Suck record MCs. before. <laughs> you know what I mean? They all said two yeah. years ago. Yeah. A friend, that yeah. and the Force, MC, Force MDs. Yeah. Forgive me, girl. Yeah. I'm sorry for what? I, Force MDs, baby. Staten Island's own, nigga. Fuck y'all mean. <laughs> I was a Wu Tang like kind of fanatic. I I even had the video game like everything. Like, it was a weird. It had some power moves. It's, it was a weird. Era. <laughs> I think I think that was the begin. That era right there was the beginning of rock and roll status because Kane and them. Remember Kane, Rakim, and all them niggas. Yeah. To us, they was they were stars, but they weren't internationally known like that. G rap not internationally Kane was known with Madonna like that. At one point. Don't get me wrong. These niggas was getting money. Yeah. And we knew who the fuck they was. It was a subculture that knew exactly who all these motherfuckers was and right. shit. But it wasn't resonating with the higher ups to Hollywood. For example, my first time when I wanted to do How High, I couldn't, like I'm so arrogant at this point, I couldn't believe they didn't know who the fuck I was. And they didn't. Mm. Hollywood could have cared like, too fucking less. I, well, we don't know who these guys, who are they? Right. Really, motherfucker? Like we, me and Redman had the number one fucking, fucking rock while all that shit. I'm like, I don't yeah, know who the fuck I'm is. Right. That's crazy. Call your assistant in here. Assistant, <laughs> like, who the fuck am I? Oh my god, man! Yeah. And they look at it like, oh, okay, we might want to do business with you. Mm. You know that kind of thing. So, I mean, I nah, they was so trolling cool. you, son. They, they was trolling you. Yo, yo, yo. No, these motherfuckers really yeah, don't, like, don't know. know who fuck he is, son. They yo, don't know. Yo, I was yeah, told I by an exec, an exec, and I'm not gonna say the name, but a white exec told me. To my face, black people don't watch television. We don't watch television. We don't That's go to crazy. the movies. You know? And, I mean, it's far fetched now because we yeah. know that, you know, fucking Hunger Games didn't sell all them fucking tickets because all white people went to go see it and shit. Black right. people went to go see that shit too. And we're not dumb enough to think that Black Panther was the highest selling Marvel movie because all yeah. black people went to go see right, that exactly. shit. Exactly. So the thing about Breaking into that to that th that whole fucking space, it's, it's just weird, man. You know, and, I, and let, let's yeah. stay on the topic of weird. Yeah. Um, but what what I guess um, you said what was your favorite era? You're talking about the eras, right? Yeah. What oh, was I'm your in the same boat. Same boat. Same Late boat. 90s, early 2000s. So yeah. who were, who was the the people you were watching at that time? So, you know, I, I like I was a huge Snoop fan in high school. Like right. I said, I was a huge huge Snoop fan. I like Pac a lot. My brother. My, my two older brothers, my brother loved Big and Wu, and mm -hmm. then my other brother loved RZA. I'll never forget, he had the Bobby Digital shit Digital. immediately. I hated that. Bobby yeah. <laughs> I'll never forget, like, yeah, that, 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 you know what I mean? Yo, so, yo Bobby, Bobby, RZA was the first camp on the low. Mm. I mean, so, yeah, like. If you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I, I'll tell you what. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna jump out the window. This is gonna sound. This is. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. become. 
be you. I really fuck with, always fucked with. <laughs> I'm about to get clowned yeah. with Bubba so Sparks. Like you. I Bubba always Sparks? thought Bubba Sparks. I like Bubba. I like Bubba, I like Bubba. Bubba too. I like, and look, it's funny because like beat, at the that. time, <laughs> well, the look, 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 at the time, every every white kid that liked hip hop was like Eminem. So just for me being a cornball, yeah. instead of just realizing dude's good, mm. I was like, mm. yo, nah, I that, like Bubba Sparks. You know what I mean? But the, then I really fucked with his shit. The and Redemption I, song, that Deliverance album Fire. was great. Yeah, so like, Fire. I mean, you're, you're valid with that because I, I mean, Eminem's never dissed Bubba Sparks. He's dissed every other white rapper in yeah, the game. Yeah, but I don't think I don't, I don't even think Everlast ever who's good. Bubba Sparks. Yeah, Everlast yeah. is good. Yeah. He's never dissed. Bubba. I still like, I still fuck with. You know, I know Bubba does a lot of like country like rap. I still fuck with his shit. No, he's good. But he's good. I love. Yeah, I've always been. But like I said, my, my brother was a huge Biggie fan, my oldest right. brother. Mm. And then my best friend was a, a Pac fan. Mm. But like my brother loved Big, man. He was just like, you know, because I'm, I'm 35, right? So 96, 97, I was like 11, like 11 12, you know what I mean? Right. I wasn't, um, but I was just like a product of what they were listening to as far as that era. But like once... That 98, 99, you know what I mean? That shit came in, the early 2000s. Everything from guy. Nelly, from Nelly, everything yeah. at that By time. By this time, you know hip hop I mean? is making billions. Billions. And that, that was that point I was making about how now it went from these guys being who they were to when we came in, now they're fucking rock stars. I remember um, getting 2,500 a show, and All I Need had dropped. And I'm doing shows every fucking day, seven days a week. I had to tell the manager raise the price. Mm -hmm. 5000 I'm still getting shows. Every raise the fucking price. Right. Next thing I know, it gets to a point where a nigga getting 25 grand a fucking show and forgetting because I love what I'm doing so much. Like you look at your bank account one day and it's like, wait a minute, where the fuck all this shit come from and shit. Right. And now we're in the era now where these kids they got more money than I mean, son, I I I'll be looking at the, you know, I, I couldn't imagine. Right. You know, I got I even got a car. My kids got cars, wife got a car. I ain't got a car. Like, these niggas got four, nah, five man, cars. I've seen your wife's car. Look, look that, that, yeah. shit, that's, that shit is nice. I, I like that shit. That yeah. shit is nice, yeah, that, that you know, but it, it's, it's in her grade. It's actually you know what the mean? car I wanted, and you was like, yeah, this is my wife's car. Like, but shit is nice, but I don't even have a car, man. Yeah, I don't even have a yeah. fucking car. <laughs> but this glamour, I mean, I, I still ain't taking private jets. I think I earned that by now and shit. Where are they getting this money? I, I want to know. <laughs> like, they got a deal or some shit. It, can't, it can't be. can't be. No, There's no fucking way that How? they fly in private. All the, Like, that money long, long as fuck because we talking at least minimum is 30 grand. Federal, right. he that's said that's round a waste trip. of money. Right. <laughs> Big <laughs> pun, too. I forgot. Big pun. Where are they getting this money from? Can somebody tell me? What? Mm -hmm. I want to know where they getting this money from. I need that hustle. I mean, I don't, I, not I, even for the private I'm not, jet. I'm not I just hearing want, people buying them. I'm hearing they, you know, they just renting them. And I didn't say them. they buying them. I'm, right. They they paying to fly the private jet. Mm -hmm. right. But I'm saying they doing it all the time. It's like, nigga, I used to complain having to save half my fucking um, when I worked at the statue, half my check for car fare, dollar mm -hmm. seventy five. We talking thirty, at least thirty to fifty grand a trip. You flying? Where are they getting this fucking money from? Well, they're, they're and still shows, paying mortgage. Aren't their shows a lot more? Like they'll get some yeah. people. They still doing get, this shit during Corona. I know Migos yeah. probably get a hundred grand a piece or some shit right, like that. More. You know what I'm saying? But you, but I think there's more streams of revenue. Mm -hmm. Streams give money, actual money. Right. Yeah, streams, streams itself. Then there's club streams appearances. Of revenue. Clothes. Then, then there's, yeah. there's, there's the features that they do under the table. They never really get pushed, but they get big bags for them. There's, there's, there's a whole bunch of ways that they and make like, the social and then media itself. Then there's trafficking. No, nah, some of these niggas is rich. The private jet, you know? yeah. No, no, no. Like, some of these, some of these niggas itself. is rich. They did that. They did that. Rich, Rick Ross is still, he earned that though. I can see where Rick got that money from. You right. can see it. Right. But some of these niggas, where's this shit coming from? You can't see it. Like you don't see it. Right. It's like nobody really listened to your music like that and shit. Where'd you get this fucking money? <laughs> right. I, I just want to know. It's bad. It boggles my motherfucking mind, man. Because every penny that I got, yeah. I know where it came from. Right. I know it. Like, I know exactly what the process was to go through to get that and shit like yeah. that. And I still don't live like no motherfucking Rockefeller. Not saying I can't, right. but I still don't. It's like. When where do you get these resources from? You, my you nigga? ever thought about starting a label? No, never. No, I don't like to work like that. I don't. I don't. And, and artists being when I was one, they they have to be. It's like having kids, man. You know how much bullshit me and Red Man got into? Like once or twice, labels having to show up to the fucking precinct, bail niggas out and shit like that. Like yeah. real shit. And I and I just. 
Mm, I don't. I'm responsible for a lot of people already. And shit, right. So I, I couldn't you. even have the energy you. to do it. I feel you. Couldn't. I feel you. But I, I, I want to commend you again on this new energy. Thank and you. And I bro. called you one day and I was like, Yo, how are you doing this, man? <laughs> you showing up on everything and you having the best verse. Like, what's going on? Where did you get this from? Where did you get this from? And it was like, you know, you you went through a situation where you realized you just got to kill everything. Yeah, and it was, it was a conversation I had with Sean P overseas, and this was like my fifth time over there, man. I was, mm -hmm. I was tired of that shit because we couldn't get no money here. You know, all these young cats, they was eating up the money, eating up the shows, all that shit. So, you know, we wasn't getting booked here, went overseas, ran into Sean P at like, and they were over there every time we was over there. Right. You know, and MOP too. We used to run into them a lot. And he right. was like, I was like, shout yo. Shout out to fame, shout out to dance. I was like, yo, I've been listening to your shit. I didn't even know it was you, nigga. Like, I, I think Sean P is totally different from who Ruck is and shit. Like, I didn't right. even know that was you, you nigga. Yeah. Like, you killing that shit. <laughs> yeah. What, what, what made you, like, where you get this? And nigga was like, yo, I know I'm better than all them niggas. That shit resonated, but I don't know why, but it resonated with me. And I was like, yeah. you know what? I'm better than all these niggas. Too. Let me, let me, <laughs> get, let let me go sit my niggas. ass down and write some shit <laughs> and show and prove. Right. Cause a lot of my years in the game were wasted. Like, I ain't gonna lie, I wasted a lot of fucking time doing shit I wasn't supposed to be doing that I had to atone for that some of it I'm still atoning for to this day. But, but that's why I say like you you with a label would be like there's so many things you could school somebody to. Yeah. So so they don't they don't get caught up. They'll see it coming. You know what I'm saying? Nah, you won't see this shit coming. That's 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 the biggest misconception and that's where and it gets to a point where you're so paranoid you, you can't enjoy yourself. Mm. You, you'll never see it coming because it comes in so many different forms and then when you look back on it you don't have anyone to blame right. but yourself and that makes you even madder. I was just so angry for so long that it got to a point where it was like I got tired of my bullshit and, you just, and I needed to change. Right. That's now it. when you get tired of your own bullshit, yeah, that's yeah. growth, nigga. Right. That's growth right there. Right. Like I'm tired of myself. And I thought, you know, I put the, I put the effort into it, man. And I mean, we, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Same yeah thing. I, I got to say the same, same thing. thing about yeah. you because there was a point where I was like, I don't know about a real deal. Me? And you just, oh, oh, you awakened. Mm -hmm. And you said, nah, it's time everybody dies. Mm -hmm. And you showed up, you beat Chilla twice. You be chilling twice. Debatable. The best Sharon I ever saw Where? was last weekend. Mm. Yeah, he was good. He was the really good. The best Sharon I've ever saw wow. was last weekend. He looked mm. crushed. Yeah, he was very crushed <laughs> because I know. I think he knows this was the best Sharon. Mm. And yeah. I still lost. Mm. Yeah, I was. I, I'm not gonna lie. I was hurt for him. <laughs> like not even trying to be funny. Not even trying to. Lie. I was hurt for him. Because what? I feel like the story is great. The, the belt going back to Canada yeah, and he yeah, is yeah. Mr. Candy, wants to represent it. But it, it just got to a point where I was like, man, you got to take this shit off my fucking cold, dead fingertips, man. Mm -hmm. You better be so fucking crazy when you show up. Because I always have had in battle rap a chip on my yeah. shoulder, right? So, yeah. And that's why, like, when I would go to Scribble Jam and, you know, the West Coast would click up and... I'd be like from Pittsburgh up there, you know what I mean? And Pittsburgh is, is great, but it is where fashion goes to die. Like right. I think Echo finally died in Pittsburgh. Like, <laughs> like, so you know what I mean? Like I'm like, like you know what I'm saying? So like, you know, I, I, I'm like, I, I just feel a way like, damn man, like, you know, so every time I go to these events and go, you know what I mean? Like that, I made it a point. I would always strategically made it a point to not have people behind me when I battle or not have people. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, damn, I wish, I wish, Really want to see Sharon win the title? I said, but goddamn, if he got to beat me for it, man, you you know you got to climb Hamburger yeah, Hill, yeah. man. I'm gonna fucking like it yeah. this is chess, not checkers, man. Why so, do you think Sharon's not even mentioned a lot of times on people's list and shit? Um, I don't know, man. Sharon is good. He's, he's very, very, he's, he's yeah. very good. I Where's think, that? I think Sharon maybe has had some 
regrettable. We all have regrettable things we said or did in battle rap. Right. But I think Sharon maybe has done or said some things that weren't him for the purpose of battle rap. I've been guilty yeah. of it myself, but I think right. he has a longer list of that. If that makes sense. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because so, the first the first clip I saw of, Sh- of Corey Sharon, he was in high school, and he was battling. Um, he was battling somebody in his high school. And I guess someone died from a car accident like in the school. Like that fucking weekend or something. Mm-hmm. Like that mm-hmm. weekend. And mm-hmm. he was like, everyone wishes you died instead of such and such. Oh, yeah. I and everybody that. stopped. Like, oh. and, and, and the thing about Sharon is like, he's the nicest, And he was just there, dude, like, looking like, like <laughs> you know, yeah, I, I said it. What's going to happen now? You and know then he like, fa- he Homer and, Simpson right, out the it picture. Was, they were like, like yo, yeah. just get out. Just leave. Just leave. And, and, and he and just walks away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and so I, but I, man, first of all, Sharon is one of the best freestylers I've ever, Yo. that motherfucker freestyle, he, I think he's trying to get the Guinness Book of World Record freestyle uh, shit, like, uh, you know what I mean? Like, he's, yeah. he is very, very, very good, like, well, he's, and it's gotta be good, because I could get the Guinness Book, I mean, I can go rat, bat, cat, sat, dat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black. yeah. No, he'll do, no, I, I feel, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and don't, like, I, you know, we've all done the freestyle thing, but he's, He's good, and he and one thing about Sharon too is great is he takes criticism. He's not like like an angry battler, like fuck you know about it, fan. Like you don't right. know shit. He'll be like, okay, maybe well, I do that's need to add easy more. Easy to do when you're autistic, bro. Like, come on. So I, I think, like I said, man, I, I, I feel like I show up every time and give 110. Right. How receptive the crowd is, and, and you brought up a good point earlier with like the changing of hip hop, changing of battle raps. The same, like when we came up. That's yeah, Rex will be like, get him, Rex, or whatever, like, you know, throw his hat. Motherfucker, there's whole camps behind people yeah. grabbing their shirts, yeah. man, hit, like, Doing and that shit throws shit. me off. Like, I'm like, oh, that's a lot. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm battling more, so. Not the lyrics, you battling a persona. Yeah, I'm battling a, yeah. an entire fucking corner of hype machines, so. But that's going to push the machine forward, the personas, man. I mean, wrestlers, they got, they do a bunch of fucking moves in there. We love them mm-hmm. for that shit. But when they do those promos, sometimes people just tune in for them promos. Those ultimate yeah. warrior joints. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, but I, I honestly, bro, like I, like I said, man, I always... Macho the, man was the best you know, at that oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm too hot to handle it. I'm too cold to hold. Oh, 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 yeah. oh, you smell that mean gene? That's success, gene. brother. <laughs> mm. Remember when Jake the Snake shit. had the snake bite his arm and shit? Yeah, that shit. was real shit, though. Yeah, I remember that. I remember but coming that. from where you're at now, like, though, to to where I mean, coming from where you've been, to where you're at now, <laughs> why do you think you're being more accepted now? Like, I, I think, in my opinion, I think mm. a lot of it has to do with people catching one of your battles, then going back mm. and looking at your past battles to see how consistent you are. Mm. So now you're on the radar, and each one teach one. But why do you think you resonate now? I think I th- you know what I think it is, man. I think that people. It's the beard. Like, <laughs> the beard. No, no. I think that that people always knew. I, and I never like people always be like, yo, you think you're one of the most underrated? And I was always like, nah, because I know math thinks I'm dope. Verb knows I'm right. dope. Like, you know what I mean? So who am I underrated to? Right. Like, you know, right. random Twitter two four seven six. Like, mm-hmm. and, go, and, and go one, cool. One thing that is a, 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 a knock on myself is I'm not the best at marketing myself. I'm, I'm not the best with doing these promos. I'm the type that's like, yo, I think you're dope. I'm dope. We should battle. That's boring as shit. Right, right. You want to see me get on camera like, that's the wackest motherfucker I ever... I, I, it feels unnatural to me. Yeah. I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Like People mm-hmm. was asking me before like about bad, potential battles, and I was like... I said, I remember for a minute I wanted to battle Old Red, but... I remember I said something to him like in New York at a McDonald's. He was like, people saying I should smoke you. And I'm like, yeah, set it up. He's like, I don't know. I said, how the fuck did that just work like that? I thought, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah, like yeah. he was doing the, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to fucking fan the fire like that. So that's, decision. yeah. And then like, you I ain't think, gonna bring me no views, real deal. And I think the other thing is I'm always like, yo, I'm I'm Trevor, like whatever. Like like people be stunned when I be drinking a beer outside of a battle. Like, oh, you should real be drinking. I'm like, yeah, I fucking drink beer. Like, what the fuck is this? Like, you know what I mean? It's like I'm I I probably make myself too approachable or too Ain't nothing wrong with you. You know what I'm nothing, saying? Yeah, right. but I you do that's... have to be the more aloof you are, yeah. the more people respect that shit. Which I I, I can respect because right. I used, you know, Mariah Carey was like 
But then after taking the clothes off for like five, six, seven, eight times on camera, it's more or less like, oh, okay, man, we can, we see not anything else. Right. You know? Yeah. But yeah, no, I, I think the biggest thing I always claimed that I wanted in, in battle rap was that nobody can leave a real deal battle and say he's whack. You could be like, I, I, it's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Or like, I don't know, or I don't believe him. You could, whatever the fuck you come up with, you can't say he's whack. Mm, right. like, you can't be like, that dude's fucking whack. No. And I'm cool with that. You know what I mean? Because battle rap is so subjective. You know what I mean? You hear that? Another slight swipe at the fans. Yeah, I, I told y'all, they don't love y'all, man. They don't love y'all at all, man. Come over I here, though. I love you. Know, I you, love you. I love you know, all you. I, I, I got love. I got love. You know what I'm saying? Hop the game. You know what it is with. And I, and I think the other part, too, mm -hmm. I, I was going to touch on this, too. I think the other part is I had so many losses and so many big things happen to me in life. And mm -hmm. rather than just, re, like, I shared them. I was just like, you know what I mean? When my mom, cancer got my mom in 2013 and my sister Sorry. from from prescriptions in 2014 mm -hmm. and then with my father. I, yeah. So I think it's it's like, damn, like that, you know, and I just shared it with the battle rap community, like, you right. know what I mean? That shit but, 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 and but we're like family, you know? we so felt why, that's shit. what I mean, you right? You know what I mean? And now, I, when, and my, I, when my brother was passing, yeah. I felt compelled to do the same thing. 100%. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, and, and that's I what I mean. I, you know, I leaned, I leaned on the battle rap community, and they leaned and did some great things for me. So mm. we um, felt that shit. But, but I make sure I show up every bat. Like you know, when people ask me after, uh, you know, how do you do this battle with with this on your mind or whatever? I go that that shit. I will never show up to a battle and not give a hundred. You will never not fucking hear. Yeah, you will never hear right. that shit from yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. Can I can I get one of the shirts? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um. Now there's a movement in battle rap that's going on right now, and it's called. Justice for Charlie. Mm. Dope. But it's not just justice for Charlie. It's it's justice for everyone who's fallen victim to medical malpractice and, mm -hmm. and, and people who are put in these positions where they hold your life in their hand but they're careless. Or they're not dedicated to to their position, the power of that position. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, rest in peace to your dad. Thank you, bro. Yes. Thank you. Thank this you. was this All was right, um it was heartbreaking, bro. This yeah. Day. It was it was and I, and I watched everything. The, yeah. All the talks, the the song that you made. Yeah. And every time it it, it took me someplace and I was mm -hmm. like, damn, like this so, shit has to change. So the thing is with my pops too, like I said, he had lost his wife for thirty some years. He had lost his sister the year before, his mom the year, but he was just going through it, right? And my pops was a you know, he lived in, in a rough part in Pittsburgh. He was making maybe ten grand a year, eleven grand a year. He he didn't retire from anything officially, so he had no. So anyway, my dream was like, yo, I'm gonna take care of him. Like I'm gonna make enough money on something. I'm gonna take care of him. So right. that's the cool thing about battle rap is when I reached out, my dad had a cancer diagnosis for his lung, but it was removable. Mm. Right. So that's when I reached out to battle rap for a GoFundMe. I, I said, man, I would never do this, but I just wouldn't give the man a fucking break. You know what I mean? Right. Let me, man. They raised six grand in like, a, like three days. And then when they did his biopsies, when they're like, oh, we need to look at this little valve situation. It might be a leak or whatever the case may be. Not to go super down a rabbit hole. He went in on a, it's a routine procedure. He went on a Monday, came home on a Tuesday, was back in there on a Wednesday. Mm. And like I said, a month, bro. Like he died a worse death than Jerry Sandusky will die. Mm. Jeffrey Dahmer died. People that deserve it, right. But man, he died a worse death than like... He, a month of just a kidney failure. He didn't even drink. He had kidney failure, liver failure, tubes in and out. Yeah. So, again, and, and the doctors, the doctor literally, the doctor who did the procedure, when they was all sitting me down to have the meetings, you know, trying to get me to give my dad like the old yeller treatment, right? Like, what would your father want? Which is a fucking crazy. Right. What are you, you talking about? That father. doctor didn't even show up. He said he had prior obligations. And I'm like, hold the fucking fort. You know, you're a father. If 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 your if your son is at my school and something happens, mm -hmm. I can't be like I have. Right, you're gonna no be like, let idea, me speak right. to that to that teacher, mm -hmm. right? Right. So when you peel back the layers, the fact that bro, like medical malpractice, you have two years, is the statute. Wow. You know what it is for receiving wow. stolen property. Fuck. Five. Five, yeah, man, and murder so can, is like, yeah, ain't no statute. Yeah, you can fuck around and get a yeah. stolen TV and four and a half years later they can come see you. But medical malpractice, you got to pick yourself up, get yourself together. You know, you need, now let's say I'm, I've been turned down by 18 law firms, okay, because they're like, yeah, it looks like they gave him an infection. But how can you prove that? I said, mm. how can you prove it? Went on Monday, came, they said, well, it would be different if like they said we're going to operate on his left leg and operate on his right. I'm like, what the fuck would I need you for? 
Right. But right. you need a doctor to co-sign you to, to, to take another, like if I want to do it myself, right. which I have no problem with, I'll take the loss financially, I just want to pull these people in a room and explain to me and know that my father is not fucking case number X, Y, Z. Right, right? he has people But I need another doctor mm. to look at the medical records and, and, and go to bat for me. And you can imagine how often that fucking happens. Right. So it's crazy. Even when that video came out, I did a video for my father, and at the end, my father was a veteran, I showed his plaque. Someone called the National Cemetery where I filmed it, mm -hmm. and they was trying to get me to pull the video. The National Cemetery was like, look, man, I hate to make this call. Your video was very tasteful. There was no curse words, nothing. But we can't be tied to whatever you're saying. I said, that's my father's plaque. He says government property. Mm. So it wasn't government property in 1968 when you needed, you know what I mean, young boys to volunteer to go over to fucking sure, Vietnam. You, you know what I mean? So yeah. it's the third leading cause of death in this country, man. Third, two, between 250,000 and 440,000 a fucking the year. The third. Third, bro. Medical malpractice. Medical air, yeah. And only 2% of people actually follow through and follow because you don't know. What do you know? Right. I didn't know none of these terms. They gave, they gave, they have 30 days to give you the medical records. They took 43. The only reason they gave me it in 43, I'm not going to lie, I was drunk at a bar store. I tweeted at them on Twitter. I was like, UPMC. Fuck you, you're gonna pay for what you did to my dad. Mm. I get a call the next day from the threat assessment team. Mm. Like, hey, we saw a tweet from you. I said, where's my medical record? Oh, we'll get right on that. They sent it right out to me. <laughs> Fucking crazy. You know, you know, they thought I was gonna John you know or some shit. That's the answer now. Crazy, with right? Yeah. When crazy. you tweet about uh, uh, poor service or, yeah. or I'm, I'm gonna complain about this, I, I got a feeling they looked at your followers first and was like, Mm. Nah, he got a lot of followers. Mm. He might start some shit. You want me to tell you how they wrote to me, though? They gave me the medical files. I was, I was so lawyers, I'd, I'd show the medical records, too. They'd go through, like, yeah, yeah, I find out nine months later, like, just recently, I had given them to a lawyer. He, he hits me back. He's like, these aren't, this isn't all the medical records. I said, that's 6,000 pages. Now, this is 10 months afterwards. He goes, yeah, they're missing huge chunks of important information. Whoa. Now I'm ready to bang. I'm like, what the? He's like, we don't have time for that. I'm going to send you a piece of paper. Like, we don't have time for you to get mad. Right. I'm going to send you a HIPAA situation. You're going to send it back. I'm going to send it to them. Within a, a week, I got something for Because the, it's fucking crazy, bro. Like, that shit is And I'm proper, not bro. saying doctors are bad people. I'm not saying they're not, you know, they don't have, they don't want to save lives and all this shit. They got $615,000 out of my dad. My dad would be lucky if he made over... 30 grand one year in his life. Mm. They got sick and they got paid every fucking cent because he was cent. covered. 600, they were still sending bills right over his corpse. Mm. He died the first. I was, there was bills from the ninth. No mm. respect. Man. No respect whatsoever. Crazy. So yeah, it's. And you would think they need the money, but these fucking doctors and you know, these yeah. motherfuckers is rich already and shit, man. Yeah, but Yo, that's, a, that's a hard case right there, brother. Yeah. For real, and man. That's, that's so, what I mean. It's if, a new if, purpose if, for me, man. If there was any way that um, the battle rap community or, you know, me or gang could, could assist, yeah. what would it be? You know, they've already done so much. You know, just, you know, when they hashtag or whatever, like even like the shirts and hoodies, that's cool. Like, I, you know, a couple bucks, a shirt, a couple, whatever. Justice but for man, Charlie. just let people fucking know. And, 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 and more yeah. so my advice, if you have, because my inbox has been flooded. Right. This happened to my grandfather. My brother went in for this. My sister went in for this. And come wow. out, the needle missed and hit this and boom, boom, boom. Ask every question. Take pictures of the plan a day. Yeah. And UPMC... <clears throat> is the reason Pittsburgh didn't go into a depression after the steel mills, right? Mm -hmm. So they're like juggernaut, right? They're up there with Big the time. Right. Yes, yes, right. yes. You know what I mean? And what the fuck chance at the end of the day with Trevor Weller, what, what, what chance you got? And then they'll fuck with you. Here's your medical records. We're going to leave some out. You got two years during a pandemic. Meanwhile, you you know you steal a fucking Walmart, Samsung. We'll, we'll come see you in four and a half. I think I think your voice is bigger than you think it is. I yeah. think it I think it's going to get bigger, and, that, and that's how they can help. Yeah, you know I mean, like mm -hmm. this shit is cool. The, the battle rap accolades is great and everything, but I'm, I'm I battle rap. I'm a very vain person. I want attention. I check Twitter constantly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That man did everything behind closed doors. That man was wearing. There people talk about hand me downs. That man was wearing our high school clothes. Like to, you know what I mean. Literally went to the hospital in him because he never paid for shit himself. He never took any vacations. Was just getting shit on. Like spent eight years getting shit on by life. Had to you know take care of his wife through cancer. You know 
grew up assistant. rough too. Yeah. Like my his dad was just rough on him. Like, mm -hmm. and then just to have like to get to near the finish line where it's like, okay, all my kids are old. He lost his daughter, obviously. Mm -hmm. So it's like, damn. And then you some shit like this happens. Yeah. You know what I mean? They go in to, to see if his stent is leaking and they close it up like, ah oh, no, it was all right. We just wanted to kind of tighten everything up, but everything was good. You give him an infection, like give him an infection, man. right? And it's so, like this is this and well imagine if that was your livelihood right there. Like if that was the the breadwinner of a tribe, right? They just fucking killed all of y'all right there. And then the lawyers will say, the one lawyer said, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. He was 70. He had a kind of a cancer diagnosis of him. What do you think is his worth? I'm like, God damn. Like, you know what I mean? What is what is the most important person in my life ever worth? Work. Mm -hmm. Right. He's like, I mean, these things cost like 50 grand to, to even go to fucking. 50 grand? Money makes itself every day. You can yeah. fall asleep and make some fucking money. Right. You know? But you could put a price on that. It's fucking wild, man. It's wild how it works. I, and again, it's like you said, you hit the nail on the head. It started out about my dad. It very much started just focusing on what happened to my father. My mother passed a cancer, like I said, I was I was upset, I was crushed. If you've never seen cancer, go, you see, yeah, go to work first. It's not yeah. like the movies. People don't just fall asleep. No. It's brutal. Yeah, it I, you know, and I've seen a sudden death, right? I've seen all kinds of shit in my life, and I've accepted it on many different levels. But the shit that happened to my dad, I knew at the hospital, I said, yeah, this is different. This is, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, man, that, that's how battle rap can help, man. Just keep making people aware, and I'm gonna keep going to bat for you. I'm gonna keep, you know, every every event I'm at, there will be no excuses, 110%. All I wear to battles is Charlie wear. All I wear to, to any kind of platform is Charlie, you know what I mean? That's, that's it, man. Shout out to Charlie. He looks Charlie so happy Charlie on the t shirt. Somebody say he looked like the, the chick from Cheers, though. I was real hard, bro. Yeah, it did look like it. It did look like Rhea, oh, bro. Like Rhea, bro. Rhea, bro. Oh, that's the homie, too. They gave, oh, yeah, what's they her gave name? Rhea Perlman. Rhea Perlman. 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 What was her name on the show? Um, oh, fucking, uh, I love that show, too. I just literally binge watched Carla. Yes. Carla. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. She had like Carla. a million kids yeah. on the show and shit. Facts, 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 facts. Oh, facts. man. So I but think look, we're I'm, all a lot smarter in this room right now after hearing. I want to I want to reiterate something. Yeah. That, uh. You know, your message, your newfound message with um to Cal Athletics. Yeah. Um, my personal journey with this 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 health thing. Um these things are important. They're very important. And it doesn't make sense that as human beings we we live a life where we're not educated on our own bodies. Mm. It that just don't make no sense. If there's anything that you should learn first. Is how to take care of yourself, how to take care of this. So um, I think everybody should become more aware, do a little bit more to find out what's good for you, what's good for your system, mm -hmm. what's going on with, with, with the, when these doctors are doing things. Just put a little bit of effort into knowing what's actually happening before something goes wrong. You know? True. And know your rights. Know and your know rights. your rights. Know your rights. Facts. Um, any closing statements, Miss um, it. I'm truly touched by this, by the way. And Thank I'm sorry you. that happened to you. Me too. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate Rest it. Rest in peace, Charles. For sure. Yeah, but, for sure. Yeah. Man. Anything you can do to contribute to that, that's what's up. Um, Misfit. Follow me on everything. Um, like you ready to cry, out. Miss Fit? Really Shit. All right, yeah, cool, yeah. Yeah. Um, follow me on everything. Yeah. Miss.fit on Twitter. Miss.fit on Instagram. Follow me on Caffeine. I'm streaming every Sunday and Tuesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. My dumb advice. Uh, love it. We are, well, this won't come out by then, but you know, I always got a lot of dope people on the show. Did you, did you drop my episode? Yes. When? When did you drop? I didn't see it. You didn't yeah, tag me. Of course I dropped it. I search my name every day. You yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a real, it's a, it's a hit. <laughs> well, yeah, I be having dope MCs on there like Matt Hoffa. Uh, I've had Nikki Jam on there. I, I had Solomon, um, Solomon. Oh, my God. Solomon dropped so many jewels on the episode. Yeah. Um, I'm having past day this week. Um, but, yeah, man, support. Make sure you watch the live show. And if you can't catch it live, uh, check it out on my YouTube Make sure you subscribe, though, uh, for the everlasting love. And that's pretty much it, man. Uh, um, Joey. We just dropped the new, dropped some new shit, right? 
Yeah, we just drop hoodies. hoodies. Yeah, yeah I saw them. They fire. Need some. Got you. I right, done. Cool. Yep. Vaughn Jefferson. Whoop. <laughs> 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 That's a dope no, name, say, nigga. Um, did a birthday pass? birthday didn't pass yet, right? Ooh. Regina. Um, I gotta check on that. It might. I think it did. We Damn. Happy yeah, birthday to Regina King. Mm-hmm. We love yeah. you. We love you. We love you. I got something special coming for you. She was all over my Via brain. Via Vaughn Jefferson. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. It's going down. Right. Um, yeah, man. I appreciate everybody's support. Like I said, man. Three chains. Ch- three chains. Three chains. And whenever they book it, man, soon to be fourth. Like I said, man, I appreciate your support. It motivates. It moves me. Uh, you know, I will never shortchange you on the battle circuit. So you, you see me there. You know it's 110% game face. Um, Justice for Charlie, yeah, man. Just if you have a shirt or if you have a hoodie or if you heard the album or even if not, just explain to people, man. And, and like I said, man, when you go into these things and, and you, you know, ask questions, take pictures, you know what I mean? It's, they throw these nurses on tr- grenades out there, mm-hmm. you know, right. like call the doctor out. Like, no, I, I want to explain this. That's you know what I'm saying? So right. accountability, yeah. responsibility. That's all we're asking for, man. Right. Shout out to all the first responders out there, though, keeping people, you know. Facts. Respect. Yeah. Um, me shit. I mean, fuck. Season uh, um is season two. Season two of Ghost. Season two of Power Book Two Ghost. Yes, uh-huh. we got out. We got renewed. Um, I got something under my sleeve, but I can't announce it. Mm-hmm. I wish I could, boy, because this is some fire shit. It's yeah, so I, unexpected, I, I, man. I know how you feel. Oh. I know how you feel. Uh, I know how you feel? How high three is in the works? Mm. How high three? How high three is in the works, brother? We're going into production really soon, and we're going to twist it. We're going to flip it a little something. Can I get you a know? cameo? Damn, Damn, son, I, I was just, I was just about See, that, that's to fucked up when they put you on the spot like that and shit, but no. I mean, the, you we, want the quick answer? Can we get a chance? Y'all want a quick chance or the, or the long answer? Because if, if we're talking about right now, then uh-huh. no. Nah. <laughs> but later on down the line, there's a big possibility, nah, nah, so it's, I would it's all, wait. It's, it's all good. I would I, wait. I, I'm saving my favor. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and um, we're going to try and do a uh, movie, an animated movie. We for the weed culture, for the weed mm-hmm. culture, right? Uh, myself, Snoop, Be Real, and Red Man, Mount Kush Mall. So, can we look forward to um, Method Man roll ups? Uh, you know what? Um, uh, Cuomo was just talking about legalizing some stuff, but then I heard that it was only for like vapes and shit like that. Mm-hmm. But I mean, if you're gonna do vapes, you might as well just legalize every fucking thing. Right. If that happens, there will be Tical official. In New York, it's already going to be in Jersey, so you got to do go for spread, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Yada, 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 bang, bang, bang. Or you, you know? go to Lucy's spot and be like, yo, give me the tickets. Hey, 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 Lucy, yeah. give me a ticket. Yeah. 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 But um, I'm, I'm blessed, man. Like I said, um, more more things in the works. Uh, my 50th coming up. That's so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it like I did my 49th. In my drawers playing video games. Oh, yeah, no, no, you gotta throw a party. Yeah, you, gotta throw a party. you can't throw a party during COVID. It's just, you know what I mean? Plus, if I get sick, yeah. I can't work. Yeah, I feel you. Um, I mean, damn, I'm gonna still support Battle Rap. Um, mm-hmm. I got called out by Wyclef, just, you know, FYI. Yeah, yeah. And I said, fuck no. Nah. Oh, okay. Fuck no. Nah. Um, uh, uh, why? We're not, we're not, that's just no, only. No, no, no. That's just only. Just, 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 just uh, I'm good. I'm good. Right, that, yeah. I was one and done. I had no idea how hard that shit was. Man. Yeah. Uh, my Self and Havoc album coming out. I know I'm drawing this shit out, but I got a lot of shit going on. Yeah. Uh, if y'all watching football on the weekends and um, you watch the previews that come on before the game, you might recognize a voice doing that shit for the NFL. Yeah, we big time now, bitch. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Um, also, been producing my Marvel Method podcast with Marvel, right? And um, if anybody want any tips on how to get our key in the gym, ask Mav, because that motherfucker is determined to get our key. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. And we out. Yo. Yo. Yeah, looking for chance, chance yeah. Chance. But I found me big dollars, dollars, dollars. and still won't see.